rap when you've got like acapella no. okay what i want to say yeah i wanted to say acapella go yeah <laughs> <laughs> who needs rap when you've got an island chain okay <laughs> hello everyone and welcome mm. back to yellow's tiny kitchen well, the kitchen is very tiny i am mickey and i'm yellow and today we're going to be cooking something great what are we cooking we're cooking some north Indian semi-dry curry, aloo bangan. Oh, well, that mm. sounds lovely. So sit mm. back, enjoy the intro, and we shall see you in a moment. And we are back. And we are back. And we are back. Okay, mm -hmm. I have to put this thing like this in a sec. <laughs> um, I'm going to dip for a sec. I'll be right back. Okay, Dash, we shall we'll see, see you, you later, Dash. in a bit. So today we're going to be having to um, choose our own tea, unfortunately. Mm. Mm. Because the infamous 
tea thing. Tea thing. Mm. The advent calendar. We have run out, and this is the last one. Mm. That's sad. So fourteen is the least chosen number. The least chosen number is fourteen. I always knew it would be fourteen. I it's knew. It's a Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day day. I don't know why people don't love it. What on the fourteenth? That's a pun. That's a pun. That's a pun. <laughs> so it's the 14th is um, mm. what it's going to be, but it's not Valentine's Day because it's the 14th of December, isn't it? This is an advent calendar. Oh, yes. Yes. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So I'm going to be having this. I'm going to be the one who's surprised. And what, what are you getting? And I'm going to have some white tea from the same brand, actually, from the same brand of this. Revive Oops. me. So it is white tea, cinnamon, rose hip, and ginseng. Mmm, ginseng. What is ginseng? Ginseng is a root, um, whatever it's called. So it's a root. Mm -hmm. um, it's really highly valued in the East Asian countries because they are proven to um, increase your stamina. Okay. Mm, improve your overall health, basically. So it's a root like ginger? Or... Yeah, it's a root okay. like ginger. And it's, it's massive. and um, The root of the plant? Hmm? The, what's massive? The root of the plant? The root. Okay. Yeah, mm. so even in like Korean or Chinese culture, they um, then put strong liquor in it. Mm. So then the, the ginseng got like, what you call it? Um, you get the extract of the ginseng, and then you cut. We can eat. Uh, you can drink the ginseng wine. Okay, so it's ginseng wine. Mm. Okay, but they have it as just ginseng as well. Mm. Yes. Okay. But mm. yeah, it, it becomes it becomes a port. A port. Yes. A port. A okay. Port. Let me make some tea. Okay, you make some tea. I'm gonna see what this is gonna be. Okay, number fourteen, guys. Lucky fourteen. The last of the last. The last of the last. We shall see what exactly it is. I'm thinking it's going to be herbal. I'm feeling it's a herbal tea today. I That's think it's going to be guess. black tea. You think it's going to be black tea? Okay, mm. we'll see. We'll see who wins on the guess of the tea situation. I think. Oh. I, we're both kind of wrong. <laughs> None of us are right. Yeah. yeah. So, what is that? That's kind of cool. Um, it's green tea. It's green tea. It's such a green tea. Yeah. Cinnamon. Welcome, welcome. Cinnamon, welcome. Um, ginseng, ginseng um, also used for herbal rubbing medicine and spices as well as herbal medication. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. it's used kind as... cool. It's mostly used as herbal medication. Mm. Um, yeah. But I, yeah. I, I've never heard it being used an, as ointment though. Yeah, that's mm. interesting. Also, um, welcome ginseng. Not ginseng, sorry. Cinnamon. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> All the spices. <laughs> um, welcome, cinnamon. What brings you? What to brings our you to our stream? stream today? Are you a cooking enthusiast? Are you a chef? Are you, are you a, a cooking streamer yourself? Fellow cooking streamer? Are you into tea? Are you into cinnamon? Now, I love cinnamon. I know cinnamon is the sort of thing that some people are like. They they can't have much of it, and other people love it. I'm one of the people who actually loves cinnamon. It's, it's, I yeah. mean, I have an okay relationship with cinnamon. Yeah, you don't love it don't to love the same it. degree that I love it, but um, yeah, you don't mind it. Hmm. Mm. Um, I cook a lot, but would have called myself a cook. Okay, cooking enthusiast. Then. Cooking enthusiast. Mm. <laughs> yes, I, I like eating. So, what sort of cooking do you usually um do, cinnamon? Now I feel like cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> cinnamon donuts, okay? I mean, to Best be fair, in the garam masala over there, there will be cinnamon in that. Oh, there will? Mm. Okay, there we are. We are using cinnamon today. But... So we are making some Indian um, dish today. Mm. So before that, we're going to have some tea. And if you see, there's rice pot over here. It's to make our rice. It's going to make the excellent rice. <laughs> Yeah, we generally start um, streaming with a cup of tea and put a chat to people and then um, oh, this is head messy. into um, heading to some cooking. 50% mm. um, cooking enthusiast, 50% food enthusiast. We got both of them here. <laughs> balance. Okay. I always say balance is important in life and everything. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, are you a bear? My bear. Ah, cinnamon bear. Yeah, you're right. It's a cinnamon bear. Mm. Do you live in the... Place of bears. In the place of bears, like the mountains. <laughs> the mountains. <laughs> or the icy bears. <laughs> the mountains or the icy bears. Yeah, we know a lot of <laughs> a lot of things about bears. There's mountain mountainous bears, icy bears, lowland bears, bamboo the river, bears. The bears, river bears. The river bears. <laughs> 
the, and the, the red bear. The red bear, yeah. A, a bear that's often not seen, you know, the hidden bear. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, I cook breakfast, lunch and dinner myself. It's an um, Asian tradition to have um, homemade food, um, then um, fast food. Yeah. You cook a lot then, if you cook three times so, um, a day. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's kind you of You are cool. a cook aficionado. Mm, fishiendo, there you are. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, to be fair, though, in this current um, economy, it's probably wise as well. In this current <laughs> economic climate, okay, <laughs> it's valuable. <laughs> um, no, it kind of is, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it is yeah. way cheaper. Way cheaper. I know some groceries are like. Like truffle. Providing you don't cook with truffle or saffron, you're good. <laughs> At least saffron here. Apparently saffron's cheaper elsewhere, but here it's expensive. Here it's expensive. Yeah. Even some rice are expensive. Yeah. Hmm. Bear is my favorite animal. Um, I have a plushy teddy bear um, that's been with me my whole life. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's, I like that's that. That's really yeah. cute. Hmm. What's my favorite animal? Do I have a favorite animal? Uh, I've debated this my entire hmm. life and I changed too many times. I mean... I have two cats, so my bias towards cats is like that. <laughs> but I, I have bears, <laughs> you know, so my bias towards bears. Yeah. I do like pandas because they're cute. Pandas are very cute. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure what my favorite animal is. Um, mm. I do like dolphins a lot. Um, I like birds, though. I have a thing for birds. I've had that for mm. quite a while. I like most animals, actually. Think about it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I, um, I do like most animals. Um, fast food does it appeal um, to me? Yeah, I can't get that. I mean, it depends what fast food, but often, this is for me, I mean, um, but often you encounter a lot of fast food is just not nice. <laughs> yeah, which is true. It's, uh, which yeah, is true. It's a yeah, fast food. It's, fast food. it's convenient though. It's convenient it's for convenient. some people. For some people who um, don't have any opportunity to cook. I mm. mean, uh, some people don't even have kitchens and stuff. Then it becomes a necessity. Mm. Um, but yeah. Um, but if, I get, I get that. that. Some yeah. fast food also it's not nice. Mm. But around here, there's a Japanese fast food. Do I, do I want to call it I guess it, it kind of is. It's fast yeah, food. Yeah, so it food. has like um, mm. sushi and it has like ramen and stuff. It's... Mm. Pretty decent. It's yeah. really good. Mm. Mm. So you can. I mean, it depends. Um, I've often wondered that. What is the exact definition of fast food? Is the food. That... Is it food that's fast, or <laughs> is it something else? If you know what I mean. Because yeah, 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 I yeah know, I'm I not entirely sure. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Like, as in, if you go to a place where they have um, prepared something beautifully and amazingly and everything else, however, it's prepared and it gets given to you within. Like two seconds. Is that fast food? I would say so. Yeah. There's a Mexican um, mm. place here as well that do like fast burritos, mm. but I don't know if it's can call be it can be called fast food. Mm. Yeah, it does depend. It mm. really does depend. Mm. This is nice tea, by the way. Green tea is mm. um, what it was. Yeah. So cinnamon, we usually do this thing with the advent calendar that we. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, but unfortunately, like where everyone gets to pick which tea we drink, <laughs> but uh, it's out. It's, it's done. It is out. Yeah, it's yellow. Now, it's now Christmas. Yeah, yellow got the advent calendar for like 50% off or something. So, you know, <laughs> have to wait another year. Mm. Mm. You have one of these. You have, you one, have of one of these? Really? They're pretty cool. Yeah, they're yeah, pretty I cool. Yeah, found, I found it in like a local shop. Mm. It's like an independent shop. And I got there on January and it was on sale. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I do like their brand. Hence why um, my tea today, I actually have um, them there. What's the brand? English? English tea shop. English tea shop. They're yeah. pretty nice. Mm, they are. I mean, the green tea is very nice. Mm. I do like green tea. Mm. I do mm. like the white tea as well. Yeah. I like tea a lot, actually. I'm, I'm a big fan of tea. I go through stages, though, where I particularly um, like a particular tea. Hmm. Um, Gifted by a friend from overseas. That's yeah, a really that's nice cool. friend. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. I would. Is your friend wanted to adopt another friend? You okay? Is that my cat? Yeah. Do you want to go just check? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear. I can hear what sounds like annoyed meowing. <laughs> is what we're gonna. Um, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Could just be my ears. But I can hear what sounds like very annoyed meowing. Um, 
<laughs> so it's probably okay? um, it's probably a good idea to check. I prefer um, traditional tea, oh, um, tea over processed tea. What would you call processed tea, I guess, first traditional tea? Meaning, um, do you mean like, um, what's the word? When you say traditional tea, do you mean tea without too many additives, I guess? Is that what we're going to call it? Um, without, so it will be like, it can be any sort of tea leaf, any sort of, um, yeah, any sort of herbal tea or whatever, but just without too many additives, or do you mean a particular traditional tea, as in like, um, in, um, Southeast Asia, for example, traditional tea is more, we were talking about this the other day, it's more it's like, more herbal. Oh, yeah, it's herbal tea, um, mm -hmm. whereas obviously Japan, it's more Green. Green yeah. tea. Mm. Whereas in England, it's more... Um, black. Black tea. Yeah. Mm. This is nice though. Also, my cats are okay. They, they're okay? They're just playing with each other. Mm. And maybe one of them gets too rough or something. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, processed tea is made from a factory and contains um, other components. Traditional tea is dried um, um, tea from plantation rolls in a clay pot and served in dry leaf and stem. Okay, yeah, so you mean um, the taste is much more stronger than processed tea. Yeah, so you mean more the Southeast Asian style then, clay pot. We don't do it with the tea leaves though. No? Hmm. Mm. Okay. I wonder what the clay pot would be though. The only time I've heard clay pot um, is, um, yeah, Southeast Asian, pretty much. What's Japan use? What's clay? Oh, clay pot, you mean like the teapot? Mm. Oh, yeah, you're right. We That's usually mix jasmine with it though. Oh, you mix, okay, mm. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, very um, interesting. The taste is much, much more stronger. stronger. Yeah, I would assume that because mm. a lot of. Um, Processed tea use the low grade level of tea leaves as well that um, can alter the taste. Yeah, that's true as well. Um, mm. Very much. Anything is usually tastes nicer when it's fresh. I carry mm. on about potatoes every summer from the stream because I grew potatoes like a long time ago um, and ate them relatively fresh from the garden <laughs> as I picked them, cleaned them, cooked them. They tasted like a different thing. You'd swear it's not a potato. I mean, it's probably it's not. It's probably not. Maybe I do it grow potatoes. Maybe it's sweet potato. <laughs> Maybe it's sweet potato. I had confusion. <laughs> um, Dragonfly. Well, hello there. Long time no see. How are you going, Dragonfly? How are you going, Dragonfly? How is your day been? Mm -hmm. uh, what brings you here today? It's yeah. been a while. Yeah. How how is um how is life going for um you of late? Hmm. I'm a tea enthusiast. I actually have a reserve golden tea kettle from the 7th century. Is that 7th century or 17th? If 17th century, then you must be from the future. I think... I think... I think <laughs> Is I'm it 7th confused. century? I think it's 7th, yeah. <laughs> if um, it's the 17th, then... Uh, yeah, 7th, yeah. Um, <laughs> you are from the future. <laughs> let's see, so golden... Um, Tea kettle from seventh century. From um, from which country? Years, that's seven. interesting. I think. <laughs> so from which country? That that's really interesting. Yeah, that's kind of And cool. how do you use that? And if I have a seventh. Oh, I don't know if I'd be able to use it. Yeah, if I have a tea kettle from seventh century, I think it will just stay there on my arm. In a like, lock and in key. In a lock. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a full on security system. <laughs> Yellow's cats will be employed. <laughs> They'll probably use it. They're a Probably. very like um, classy cat. They are very classy cat. Um, but yeah, Dragonfly, how have you been going? I haven't talked to you for years. It seems like years. It's been about a very long time. Hmm. The pot is originally from China, but has been passed around the family. I got it from my grandmother. Oh, that's uh, cool. So it's kind of like a family heirloom now. Yeah, that is cool. Mm. Mm. So do you use it, or do you, do you is it's just like a, they used it, didn't it's they? just like safekeeping. I actually have a it's no. Just have. I'm a team enthusiast. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Hmm. I wonder if you use it. I wonder if it's still, it's gold though. Here's the thing. Um, like uh, appliances from the past can actually um survive way more than um, our current generation. Yeah, I know, because I think research was made on how you could make something last, but with using the smallest amount of material po possible, mm. you know? Whereas in the past, there was a lot more um, room for 
Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, you can actually get things from many hundreds of years that work. Really I well. mean, there's only probably in one area there's only mm. going to be one blacksmith smith and yeah. he has to um, make something good otherwise people will just keep coming back mm. and he won't get like it's too much work it is don't you think so pretty much so mm. equally so you definitely would want um to be taking good care of these things mm. to know what you're doing um let's see oh yeah well okay you cannot wash it with soap or sponge just put water inside and stir the water around and throw the water out. Yeah. yeah. That would make it last. Yeah. That would definitely make it last. Yeah. Basically a family heirloom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's impressive. That's cool. Yeah, that's, that's really, really cool. cool. Um, cinnamon. Very cool. Yeah. Mm. So, since we're making rice today, uh, should we um, crack a lichen? Maybe. Yeah. The rice takes a bit of time. Um, yeah. Two years. Okay. Um... Um, as you may remember, I'm back in Norway. Yeah, I assumed you were still in Norway. Um, been home for about two years now. I'm doing so great. Life is awesome at the moment. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, that's been years. That's yeah. really How good. Been, yeah. That's really nice. I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, mm. I'm glad it's nice for you, Dragonfly. I've been wondering how you've been going for a good year now. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it has. I really think it has been years. Um, but I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Um, went through a few things, um, last year and whatnot, um, got a bit sick, so streaming stopped for a while, mm. um, but now, yeah, now back, back on the, um, <laughs> go away, little bug, um, back on the, um, back on streaming again, we do just, I do, I do three streams a week, as of this week, <laughs> other than that, it's I, been I two. Just, I just saw quite cute came. What the cracky say? Someone Must say, say Norway. Norway. <laughs> <laughs> Quacky yeah, so, was summoned by Norway. So Quacky is from Denmark. So yeah, just be civil, guys. Okay, just be civil with each other. Is this a neighbors thing? Is this it's a neighbors thing. This, it's, this, is, this is like Australia, New Zealand, Indonesia, mm. Malaysia type of situation. Ah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> tea drinking is a tradition um, of my family. I do like tea drinking because mm. tea drinking. You can often allow you to sit down, have a nice chat, yeah, a bond with you know each other. Um, it's nice. It's a simple, sweet thing which I do quite like. Mm -hmm. I like the simple, sweet things in life. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, dra dragonfly. No, I've been going well. I did. I just got sick last year, so I missed the good year virtually of streaming. But we're back now. Mm -hmm. Um, twice a week I do cooking streams with Yellow, um, where I come over to her kitchen. She cooks something. I do a lot of chatting. Um, and then we, um, and then we eat it, um, and yeah, so, and tomorrow I'm going to be, um, going to be back here as well, because we're going to be trying something called, what's it called? Miracle fruit. Miracle fruit. Miracle berry. Miracle berry, yeah, it turns, um, it turns sour, um, sour things into sweet, so that's going to be very interesting to try, mm. um, see how that works. Um, so this week we've actually got three streams, but um, yeah, in the future I'm going to do um, I'm going to do one gaming stream on tomorrow, and then today we're going to be doing um, cooking, and then two days time we're going to be cooking. I I never met anyone on Twitch, by the way, who can manage to turn their schedule into such a confusing mess. Um, but it's true, okay. So basically, I'm going to sum it up by I stream three days a week now. <laughs> Um, okay, cinnamon. Funny fact, whether there is a, whenever there's an argument with my family, tea is the way to settle. So we sit down and drink tea while discussing about the yeah, problem. Yeah, that's nice. That yeah, it, nice. Will, it will create a, such a calm environment to actually talk about the problem instead of like attacking each other. Yeah. I would say so. That's really nice. Mm. Mm. It's, it's good to sit down and just have a chat about things. Um, okay. Okay, we're going to have to start. Mm. So. I'm going to show you guys what ingredients we're gonna use today and then we're gonna start the rice okay everyone just hang back are you ready for this glorious glorious ingredient reveal whoa okay okay so i uh, will read chat for a second then um and then we go through the ingredients um it's been a struggle and being very stressful but you know um who's um totally um blocked everywhere it had to be like that, sadly. Yeah, we said no way. Yeah, that's sad. It's very sad. Um, Dragonfly, very much so. Um, sadly, yeah, we said no way. <laughs> <laughs> um, ruining schedule is my type of thing. Well, Cinnamon, you've come to the right place. <laughs> you okay? 
Ah, uh, yeah, I was going to film um, some of the stuff in a minute. Um, oh, didn't you do that? No, no, when you... Um, oh, when you okay. Don't. Yeah. Um, okay, everybody, well, we're going to go through the ingredients. Yo, show us what we got. So, we're going to make aloo bengan today, which basically translated to just a potato and eggplant. As you can see here, we have potato and eggplant. And we have some onion, we have some um, garlic and ginger paste, and we have some coriander for garnish. Now, it's not an Indian dishes without the spices. So we're going to use cumin seed today. We're going to use garam masala, coriander powder, chili powder, and some turmeric. Mm, it's a big thing of turmeric. Mm. It's going to be good. So, and we have here some basmati rice that I have washed. So we're just going to make that first. Excellent. So rice is going to begin, guys. Um, and yeah, then we'll go back and um, start chopping up some things. Um, said from so low laughs in Danish. <laughs> <laughs> Love in Danish. How do you laugh in Danish, Quacky? This is the thing. Is it different? Is it like ho ho ho? Ho ho ho. Har har har. Um, that's a lot of potatoes. It is indeed, actually. Um, because it's a big eggplant and I wanted to make it proportionate. So. Yeah, the eggplant is massive. Um, and you've got, you said you had a backup eggplant. It's eggplant. I do. A little finicky. Sometimes you can open it and it not be very happy. Yep. Um, so yeah, we have, we have an eggplant. We have a backup eggplant today, everyone. So we are just going to peel this um, potatoes and then cut them into like the size of a, I don't know how to say it, like a steak fries cut. So okay. it's going to be like around two centimeter big. Okay. Okay. So we're going to peel it. I have my peeler over here. I'm going to do it. Okay. Yep. That looks good. So it's potato time. It's potato time. Um, and just uh, move the thingy down just a little bit there. Okay. Okay, Kaki says, huh, huh, huh. is that right? Is, did I, did <laughs> I pronounce it right? Okay, Cinnamon, since you're new, you have to realize my pronunciation of everything is appalling. It is amazing I got your name right. It's because it's Cinnamon. I know it's Cinnamon, it's but I probably, uh, usually I would have re read it as, hello, Cinnamon, or something. But I read it right today. I was, I was feeling particularly, particularly with it. <laughs> Um, Dragonfly turned into a very bad breakup. Um, that's, yeah, that's sad. Dragonfly, very much. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry that that ended up being what happened. Mm. Mm. Um, hopefully life can be nice now. I really hope so. Yeah. Now you're back in Norway mm. and you probably, you said your life has been going great. So mm. that's nice. Um, laughing back at you, Cracky, in Norwegian. <laughs> <laughs> the Norways. And the Norways would be like, the Danish. The Danish. <laughs> <laughs> also, how are you, Cracky? Are you still in icy land? Yeah. Are so you... for, for you, everyone who doesn't know, Cracky just went to Antarctica to meet with the penguins. Yeah, Cracky's been sharing the... Um... The Mickey Dizzle experience over at Penguin Land. Um, all the penguins are, um, are now following. Um, and yeah, so most of our viewers are going to be penguins from now on. <laughs> and Highland Cattle. <laughs> Highland Cattle, yeah. I'm not surprised if people managed to butcher my name. I mean, I only got as far as Cinnamon. Yellow was the one who worked out Bear. <laughs> it's Bear! I know, now I see it. Yeah, I, I can see it quite well now. Um, um, let's use letters they don't have. Cracky, yes, the letters only in Fairland Scandinavian. Why do you have letters that we don't have? That is just not on. It's not fair, really. You know? You should be sharing those letters with us, guys. Mm. I think you're not ready for, like, um, like, East Asian alphabets thing. Like kanji. Like kanji. They're <laughs> <laughs> not ready for kanji. Or Sanskrit. Um, no, I'm back in Argentina, says Quacky. Okay. Oh, okay. Have to get admitted to the IC. Um, have to get admitted into ICU, so just chilling in the hospital now. Okay, I'm sorry, Quacky. Um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully you can um, sit back and um, 
yeah. just rest. Just rest for a bit. Tim, how Hello, are we Tim. going, Tim? Um, also, Dragonfly, those letters that you just put up look like something um, that I would see in a cave in um, Lord of the Rings. So um, you've done well. I assume that's some form of dwarvish. Um, ancient dwarvish by the look of it. <laughs> Nate, funny language only for us. Yeah, you only get the funny language. Um, how are you doing today, Tim, by the way? Um, how are how you? How are you going? Um... You're going to um, film me peel potatoes? Maybe. Yeah, I'll do a little filming. For those who don't know, I do, a, I do a bit of filming and stuff just because of... Um... Have Instagram, guys. Mickey has Instagram and um, YouTube as well. Instagram. So you can check it out. Yeah, I'm more of a social media tycoon now. <laughs> <laughs> like I used to do one video every two years. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. <laughs> um, okay, um, doing good. I um, hope you two are. I'm glad. Um, I'm glad, Tim. I saw you were streaming, I think, yesterday. Doing, was it car? Doing, doing like racing, yeah, racing, I think. I was slurking as well. Yeah, hmm. yeah it looked kind of cool. Um, um, we have three additional alphabets in our ABC. Why, Quacky? Why? Why do you have that many? To um, add flavors. Yeah. Why do you need that many um, alphabet things? <laughs> <laughs> to alphabet add flavors. things. <laughs> to add flavors. You know, it's yeah, like flavors. English with spice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like English with spice. Yum. It's, it's, um, it's like a, um, yeah. There, like there is, there is a clip of Mickey just going, "Hello, I'm Spice." Hello, I'm Spice. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, um, Lucas, Lucas clipped it. I was actually carrying on about something that was relevant, but that's okay. It doesn't look as relevant when you just take it out of context of, of us sitting there perfectly normal, and then be going, "Hello, I'm Spice." Hello, I'm Spice. I am Spice. Um, hi, Tim says Dragonfly. Um, yeah, how's everything been going of late, Tim? I saw today you were streaming as well at four. <laughs> <laughs> four in the morning. Um, I didn't actually see it. I got the notification after. Tim, what are you doing up at like 4 a.m.? Why am you up at 4 a.m. in the morning, Tim? Seriously, Tim, something. I know you have like a completely different time zone, but what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> um, Cinnamon asked, you peel your potatoes question, Mark. Yes, I do. For this um, um, dish... Um, you can use you can use on um, um, peeled potato, but I think it cooks well. It cooks better without the skin. Yeah. Yeah. So up to you. If you want to leave the um, if you want to leave the peels on when making the dish, you're welcome to. Or if you want to take them off, whatever. Mm. Um, whatever. It's just it's just that in my opinion, they cook better and they cook more. Um, Evenly? what do you call it? Is that um, or quicker? More uniform. Uniform. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, but equally, if you like the, um, if you like the skins on, you're more than welcome to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because the Scandinavian is awesome. I'm not Scandinavian as well, so I'm too awesome. <laughs> but um, I'm not Scandinavian. Back to him. We are Scandinavian. We are Scandinavian by heart. Okay, by heart, everyone's a Scandinavian. <laughs> you spell na, you spell night with a J in Norwegian, it's spelled with an I. Why? Nice. I don't know. It's it's like some form of like dwarfish hidden secret language. Um, yes, Danish sound more German than they are to Norway. That's odd, isn't it? Yeah, that's funny. I wonder why. Yeah, so um, I'm just okay, cutting cut that way. I'm cool. just cutting it to this kind of size, so like two centimeters maybe. Mm -hmm. hmm. And then I'm putting it into um, a bowl of water. Nice. Um, but yeah, going pretty well, Tim. I'm a bit tired today, but I'm starting to wake up a little bit. Just had my green tea, that was nice. Um, but yeah, going pretty well. Okay, nay? Nay. Nay. N-E-I. How should I say it and sound? N-E-I. Yeah, how, should I, how do I pronounce it? Nay. Nay. Okay, nay like the horses. <laughs> nay, nay. Um, in Norwegian and night in in Denmark, and then there is Finland, which go eh. <laughs> the Finnish are just like eh, eh, eh. That doesn't eh. sound right. Eh. <laughs> no, it's okay. Oh, potato 
emotional tea. Cool. Probably should have waited to you. Um, Adam would never get out. Okay. You got it? Mm. Nope. I'll wait for you to, and I'm sure I can It's interesting. How much of your languages there, by the way, are, um, are similar? Just wait. Put them in a sec. Not you going. Okay. Go for it. I was way too close, but that's fine. <laughs> I'll do it again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sweet. And go. Nice. Um, Swedish also says nay. Nay. Yeah. yeah, no, with a J. So with the J, it's nay. Without the J, it's nay. And with if it's Finland, Finland, I just say eh. Yeah. Eh. Eh. Oh yeah, I forgot about that country. Don't get me started on Swedish. <laughs> 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 this is dragonfly. <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? How your languages are so What are these Scandinavian, like, quell? Like what? <laughs> yeah, quell. What, what is the Scandinavian situation? It is interesting, though. Um, I mean, it makes sense. You're all countries that are right next to each other that you would have similarities in your language base. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, like I said, pretty definitely um, Indonesian and Malaysian. Sounds the same. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? And oh, but how many of the words are the same? A lot, actually. Malay okay. and Indonesians, very much. So, like I said, I could definitely, if I hear some Malaysian talking in Malay, I would most likely um, understand them. Mm. Um, but if someone asked me to speak in Malay, I wouldn't be able to. Okay. Hmm. I get you. It's more like that. Yeah. Mm. Um, and thanks for the follow, um, Cinnamon. I didn't see it before for some reason. I was probably off um, <laughs> or wandering around. Um, but it's been nice chatting with you today. Um, very nice indeed. A fellow tea enthusiast. Um, food and, enthusiast. And food enthusiast. A balanced food enthusiast. 50% of the, <laughs> of the making and 50% of the enjoying. Um, yeah, it is interesting though. Um, good morning um, is good morgen in Danish and guten, guten Morgen in German. What happens if you're gluten intolerant though then? How are you meant to do that? See what I did there? See? It's like gluten, see? You all laughed at my joke. I assume, I assume quacky did inside, you know? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, I don't, <laughs> it's a, I don't it's a pun know. day today, guys. Okay. It's, okay. A day. it's a big eggplant. I need a, I need a game plan. How do I do this? Okay, I'm going to cut gonna it in half. Right. Okay. Yeah. Cut it in half. Whoa. So what I want to oh, it do... Oh, looks good. Yeah, it looks very good. What I want to do is to cut them at the same size, uh, like roughly the same size as the potato. So I need a game plan. What do I do? Okay, I need to cut this off first. This is a good eggplant. Okay, I think I'm going to cut them in half again or like that. Okay, we can talk to them again. Um, um, I, um, wait, I need to go up. Um, because the region also say, um, good morning, um, I think. Um, Dutch also has, um, Norwegian words that sound and mean the same. Yeah, it's very intriguing, isn't it? It's very intriguing. Um, I refuse to read closed captions because that's cracky. I mean, that's probably wise. That's probably wise, cracky. That's how I do it. Um, yes, we do. Yeah, it is interesting. I just don't know. I mean, English, I guess, is a similar thing. Um, it's kind of like a mix between everything. Just because it's been going for a while, I guess. I it's mean, I, I read it somewhere that basically someone said English is just um, German. French and what other language stuck together in a trench coat? <laughs> yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? Very much is. Mm. I just will film you chucking some of that eggplant in. Just wait a sec. Mm -hmm. Okay, move it back a little bit. Okay, and one, two, three, go for it. 
Yeah, so I'm just putting the eggplant um, in a salted water to prevent oxidation. Mm. Again, you know, if you if you don't care too much, you don't have to chuck in salted water. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you know, it's just um, an extra step. Which does make it a little better, but you know, if you're in a rush, if you're tired, if you don't have any salt. <laughs> um, um, okay, then Finland goes, I don't think I can say that, Clacky. Hi, Raya. Um, hi, Raya. Humenta. What's yeah. that? That's good morning? I don't know. Fin Finnish people do it. <laughs> As I say, cinnamon. Um, I just chuck them in water. Yeah, it sort of depends. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can deal with eggplant. It's kind of a funny vegetable. It's a funny vegetable. Is it a fruit? Uh, probably technically, eh? It's got cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, yes, that is good morning and finish. Did I pronounce it right, Quacky? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Mm. <laughs> um, Quacky in the background will be like, I don't even know what you said. So. <laughs> Quacky's like, I'm not reading the closed captions. <laughs> you guys are insane. Um, but um, yeah, so it sort of depends. As I said, there's many different ways you can cook stuff. Um, so if you want to, um, want to do it more easy, you, you really can. Hopefully that will fix the thing. Um, yes, that is good morning fruit, um, in Finnish, um, eggplant is a fruit. Yeah, I figure it's a fruit. It's in the vegetable section of the supermarket though, because they just, they lie. We can't even pronounce that. Yeah, I don't get why the words are so unpronounceable. It's just not on. To be fair, I struggle with English on a daily basis, you know, the pronunciation. On a daily basis? On a daily basis. <laughs> every day. Yeah, every day. Just a big eggplant, isn't it? It's <laughs> a massive eggplant, yeah. Mm. My bowl, I think, probably not enough for this. No, nah, it will be fine. It will be fine. Um, I can't um, with Finnish people. They are Scandinavian, but at the same time, not Scandinavian language friendly. How funny. That is interesting. Mm, I wonder what the history is of that that's actually led to it. Mm. Mm. That is very funny. Language is interesting. It tells a lot about um, a particular people. Yes. Mm, yeah, very much. Not only um, the history of it, but also the words that are chosen to be a part of that language. For example, if a language has like 50 different words for, you know, farming, then that gives you um, a lot of information. Mm. Intriguing. Um, hence why it's interesting, um, part of um, the words um, in Indonesia being, yeah, from, from Dutch and whatnot. It's yes. Yeah, it's intriguing. Hmm. A lot of our language comes from the Dutch as well. I mean, to be fair, um, Indonesia was colonized for like, for the better part of like 30 decades. So mm -hmm. Yeah, so it does kind of do it. Yeah. This is a lot of eggplant. Look at that. My bowl is not enough. That is insane. <laughs> um, okay, we call that um, melon G? The word for eggplant maybe? Melon G. Um, M-E-L-O-N-G-E-N-E. Yeah, have you heard in, that? In where? In where? Cinnamon just said that's what they call it. Um, Melon it's, it's probably a similar, um, yeah, probably a similar um, thing. There's, um, what's the other word for eggplant? There's another word. Aubergine. Yeah, aubergine. It's a similar sort of pronounced um, thing, really. Um, I, um, I, I kind of forgot what's the Indonesian word for it. Okay, I, I remember. That all. Yeah, the Indonesian word. Hmm. Yes, eggplant. Okay, interesting. We had this talk the other day, Cinnamon, about um, capsicum. Yeah, because capsicum is called, um, we call it capsicum here. Um, Southeast Asian call it paprika. Yeah. And Americans, Americans call, it call it bell pepper. Bell pepper. Yeah, it's just interesting. I mean, the same with zucchini and courgette. I have never heard the word courgette before. How interesting. I think it's British. Okay. I really think that's British. Yeah. Hmm. 
Oh, the onion's potent. Yeah, I know. My eye. Hope you guys like onion. <laughs> I do love onion. Yeah, and then we're just gonna dice them for the onion. I have no problem understanding Swedish and Danish, but Finnish is totally Greek to me. How funny. No, that's really, really funny. Yeah, I, d I actually didn't realize that about... Um, Finnish. No. I assumed it was a similar situation. So uh, then it's, a, it's like a completely different language then. Okay, um, Cinnamon says, yeah, aubergine, terong, melongine, um, guinea squash, that's interesting, or um, brinjal. Brinjal, maybe? I do find it interesting the different words. Again, you can tell a lot about the history of um, French books and stuff by what people call them. If it's had a long history, it generally has many different names. If it has not had a long history, well, it pretty much is um, the same everywhere, just a slight difference. Dicing the onion here. Ooh. So yeah, this is kind of my first um, Indian cooking that I made from scratch instead of from like a um, packet mix or something. So it's going to be interesting. It's really, yeah. really going to be interesting. I never have either. I've eaten a lot of Indian food, but it does, um, it's generally a lot of chopping up and then putting in a spice mix that someone else has made. Good spice mix, but one someone else has um, put together. So it'll be interesting. I've tried before and didn't quite manage to get it. Um, agree, dragon slices. Cracky finished just the weird one in the class of the Scandinavian. So true, Cracky. Yeah. It's like the black sheep of a family. Mm. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> I give you another name for eggplant. Solamanium melongina. That sounds like a scientific name. Either that or... It's probably a scientific name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Solanium melongina. There we are. I pronounced it better for you, Kaki. <laughs> so your closed captions can work out I'm speaking a language. Right now it's just dot, dot, dot. Mm, that is very potent onion. Mm. Oh, can you feel it? I, I can't feel it in my eyes or anything. Um, but um, I can, I can like, feel it in my nose. Yeah, I can feel yeah. it in my nose too. Mm. Mm, it's nice. I like I, onion. I kind of need to um, sharpen my knife probably tomorrow. Okay. Um, I think one Latin now says dragonfly. Yeah, I think so. I think <laughs> so. I like Latin. I would learn Latin. You know? Onion? Onion. So it's pretty much done. The prepping is now done. So we're going to crack a lacking on the cooking. Mm, it's almost cooking. This is a lot of eggplant. Mm. <laughs> okay, now we've learned you can never have too much eggplant, guys. Okay. So we're going to use my big pot. I was going to use my wok. However, my wok doesn't really have a lid and we do need to kind of um, steam some of the vegetable as well. So we're just going to use my big pot. Big, big pot time, guys. Big pot time. Um, okay. Cinnamon asks, do you use red onion? There is red, like not today. Today's a brown onion. Is that yeah. what we're going to call it? Yeah, yeah or white onion. Yeah. I mean, in Australia, we have three types of onion, generally. We have brown onion, we have white onion, we have red onion. Red onion is often used for raw things, when you need raw onion. Um, and then brown onion is generally used for cooking. And white onion is the onion that they've had forever and a day, but I'm not entirely sure. It's similar to, similar to brown onion. Similar to brown onion. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, but yeah, we don't use red onion in this one. I'm just using the regular brown. Yeah, just the... Uh, and I'm moving all of my spices here. Yeah. And we're gonna start cooking. Nice. Um, red onion is pretty common in Indian cuisine. Yeah, well maybe it came from... Um, I'm not sure what the history of red onion is particularly. Mm. 
I haven't encountered it in much um, Indian, but to be fair, um, Indian cuisine is interesting because it's very, um, what's the word? It's not uniform, <laughs> if you kind of get what I, I mean, mean. India is a big... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a big country. It's the same as China. So even North and South Indian has very different, very different yeah. type of style of cooking. It's very interesting. So what I'm making today is actually more North Indian. Mm. But I do like red onion cinnamon. It's a, it's a nice... Um, yeah. So... It's a more mild onion. We're going to make the... We're going to like... Um, heat up the oil and then we're going to put some cumin seed. No show again, sorry, I was on a close up. Some yep. cumin yeah. seed? Cumin seed, guys. Cumin seed. I, I went to the Asian supermarket and like probably bought a lot of spices for this week stream. Yellow's um, Asian supermarket has run out of um, spices. So <laughs> quite sad. Tell me when you're going to put them into a film yeah. and chuck it in. Um, but yeah, but when I'm saying onions too, keep in mind I'm talking about the big round things. So I'm not talking about shallots or um, any of those sort of things. We have them as well. Um, quite a few things really. Um, Australian supermarkets have it's it's more the um, it's more the European stuff. I've mentioned before that we don't. Okay. Tend to get. You want to um, film it? Yep. We're not gonna put that much. Oh, okay. It turns out it's close. I need to That's open close. it. That's close. You're gonna need to hmm. um, chop chop. To chop chop. Okay. So I'm just gonna put like mm. a tiny bit, maybe like a half teaspoon, and then chuck it in. And then we're gonna wait until they're a little but make a popping sound, and then we put our onion in. Cool. Um, Chinese cuisine uses a lot of spices um, as well, same as Indian cuisine. However, Chinese cuisine does not use um, many powder spices. They use lots of dried spices more. Interesting. Mm. Dried spices? Um, yeah, so what they're saying is um, they use, instead of powder, the powder form of spice. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So it'd be, yeah, getting these and blending them up, basically. Yeah, interesting. You do get a slightly different taste from doing um, a different preparation of your spices. Um, Quacky says, German cuisine, skip all the cooking and just eat it raw. <laughs> <laughs> Metigal. <laughs> I've seen Metigal before, but never eaten. Yeah. Iraqis people just eat like raw food in a log or something. What was it? Was it in a log or on a log? What on a log? It? Yeah, there was a log involved. I remember. Part of a tree on fire, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's, that oh was the cooking god. experience. Quacky said it. Okay. I believe Quacky. You believe Quacky? Mm, yeah. Mm. It's starting, oh. starting to smell. Smells great. Oh, that does smell good. Mm. It smells like cumin. <laughs> Cracky says, don't um, eat it. Um, it's weed cuisine, even as a German myself. <laughs> Look, okay, see you in a bit, um, Quacky. <clears throat> Hope you're okay. See you in a bit. Yeah. There is some odd food um, situations happening across the planet. I mean, weed fermented cassava in Indonesia. I know it's not that weird, but... A lot of people don't have not encountered cassava, let alone a fermented one. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. It does. Mm. Cumin. Tara's favorite um, spice. No, yeah, is it? Mm. My favorite is, oh, what, what are people's favorite spice? My favorite spice is coriander. Your favorite spice? Mm. <laughs> Almost cinnamon. I may actually end up saying cinnamon. I would assume cinnamon's a cinnamon too. Yeah, I'm not sure. I do like it. Okay, now that it's sizzling, I'm going to put some onion in here. Okay. I think Dragonfly is going to bed. Um, 
I need to um, go to bed now, have an early morning, have a few um, tax returns to do tomorrow, so I need a kind of fresh brain, so nice to see you again, and glad that you're doing good, have a great day, nice have a great day, yeah, have a good Dragonfly, night, Dragonfly, wonderful seeing you again, and having a bit of a chat, um, hopefully, um, hopefully we will get, um, get to see you again um, soon, yep. yep, yep, onion in, and we're just going to stir fry them until they are translucent, yeah, hopefully see you again soon, um, Dragonfly, because mm, it's, it's very nice. It's nice to see you back. It's really nice to see you back, and oh, it's wonderful learning yeah. that your life has been great so far. Yeah, Ooh, wonderful I've, that you're happy. I dropped some onion. Very much so, um, very much so, Dragonfly. Um, <laughs> it's 1.38 a.m., yeah. Hopefully we'll get to see you again soon. Um, yeah, I know it's a bit hard for the European yeah, to catch our very, stream. Very late, I know. Mm. Um, but it was wonderful getting to talk to you again. Really, really nice. So yeah, have um, have a great night. Um, have some nice sleep, and yeah, we shall um, we shall see you soon. Good night, dragonfly. Says cinnamon. Um, quack quack. Good night, dragonfly. Good night, cinnamon. I'll try and stop by later. Um, night, quacky. Yep, night, dragonfly. We shall see you again. Um, again soon. Oh, I forgot <laughs> to show the tomato puree. <laughs> oh yeah, and we've got tomato puree. Yeah, it, was, it needs mm. tomato puree in here. Mm. One night. One night. Night night. Night night. Okay, now the onion is a bit translucent, we're going to put like a teaspoon Wait. of garlic and ginger. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Since I like garlic, I'll put two teaspoons of it. And we are going to put one teaspoon of ginger paste. It's already smelling good. It does. That's the problem with cooking with um, onion and garlic and ginger. Yeah, it smells awesome, just as is. Sizzling ASMR says um, cinnamon kind of is, isn't it? Oh, yeah. can you hear it? That's yeah. nice. That's really good. Mm. Yeah, it sizzlings really nicely. Okay. Now that it's um, incorporated well, I'm going to put the potato in. Nice. I feel that as well. Yeah. You're ready. It's a lot of potato, but that's okay. Okay, just wait. Whoa. Yep, okay, go for it. Yeah. Make sure to strain the um, water well, because this is a, again though, it's a semi-dry curry traditionally, but if you want it to be more gravy, then you can put some water in it. Yeah, you can do what you want. Um, Again, nice. though, um, really nice. food can be authentic, but food should be able to um, be eaten by everyone. Yeah, which is why we tend to say with the recipes we put up and stuff, you can follow them or you can use them as a guide or whatever you jolly want to do. Hmm. Um, <sighs> wow, that smells good. Potato. Yeah, I'm just going to cook them in a medium heat, just for a bit. Oh, just wait one sec. I'll just put this on, be right back, and be back in a sec. Nervously, be closer, won't you?
won't be long now. You made me write this song, yeah. We say but don't know how. We far away from town. We talk until we can't no more. You know I like I found you for it. Track of the time now. Summertime, like summertime, till you were gone. I fell in love, I fell in love with you. And now I can't wait for summertime, for summertime. It won't be long when you come back. I love you like I do, love you like I do. But I'm sure that we could do it right, yeah Been talking day and night, yeah Love like we're moving slow Us on the radio Feeling each other in the sand No time to waste, so take my hand Let's track of the time now The moment is right now I've been here before I've been here before it feels like you're mine now No need to pretend how Cause we love Like summertime, like summertime Till you were gone, I fell in love I fell in love with you And now I can't wait for summertime For summertime, it won't be long When you come back, I love you like I do Love you like I do And we are back every... Oh, wow. It was like, whoa, that looks different. Yes, it does. Yeah, there's a lid on it. Um, yeah, there was there was a noise. I um, thought it was a package. That, yeah, it was um, my package. Yeah, that um, yellow got. Um, but I think I missed something. Hmm. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to be making braised... How do I say that? Kao Kao fu. Fu. What's that? Yeah, What's what, cow foo? What is that? Oh, braised cow foo sounds delicious. I actually get to try that before. It's very delicious. Yeah, so what it's is crappy. cow foo? Um, it does taste fantastic. Yes, looking for mushroom right now. What mushroom do you use in it? What is this? I, mm, I will look it up in a second. What is this cow foo? I'm from China by any chance of cinnamon. I mean, you don't have to answer that if you don't feel comfortable with it. Um, I'm not from China, but my family have a strong root with Chinese lineage. Interesting. Kung it's Fu a is a wheat gluten. gluten. Oh, okay. oh, that's cool. Yeah, very cool. So, uh, what what do you braise it in? Yeah, we want to like half cook the potatoes before we put the eggplant in, and then we're gonna cook the eggplant. Interesting. Kung Fu is a form of wheat gluten, often so, um, sold dried, that tastes kind of like tofu, um, reconstructed and braised in a red cooking sauce. Interesting. Yeah, cooked with mushroom. That's kind of cool. That is really cool. Looks so what cool. sort of mushroom do you use? Uh, Just like button shiitake mushroom? Shiitake mushroom. I ah, love shiitake okay. mushroom. I love shiitake mushroom. Yep. Yeah. We are thinking about doing Chinese week. Um, and I was eyeing off um, a recipe for mapo tofu. Mm -hmm. um, and some scallion pancake. Yeah, that would be cool. So we might um, do that. I don't know, maybe next week? Not sure. Not sure. Yeah, but um, it will be coming up soon. Um, we tried, yeah, cinnamon. We sort of do a theme um, each week um, to give us inspiration to um, cook things. Mm. This week is Indian, obviously. Um, okay, yeah, with sauce, spices, fish oil, and dried chilies. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Chili. Yeah. I like chili. Yellow likes chili. <laughs> Yellow's obsessed with the chili. I'm not obsessed. I like it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not obsessed. I like it. Yes. It's an obsession, guys. Okay? It is not an obsession. <laughs> chili is kind of nice, though, I have to say. I just can't eat as much as um, you are capable of. My chili abilities are not up to um, yellow standard. I don't have a standard. I know. That's why they're not up to that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, cinnamon, good luck with Chinese cuisine week. Yeah, it could be, it could be fun. It'll be quite interesting. Have yeah. It, I have it really, um... I do want to, um... I don't think in my Asian supermarket they have Sichuan pepper, mm. but I will try to locate it in other Asian supermarket. Yeah. I'm just continually stirring this, guys, because I don't want it to stuck into the bottom because this pot is not exactly... Um... Oh, you okay? Yeah, I'm just moving the camera a bit. It's, out of my... yeah, it's, better. it's not exactly um, non-stick. Mm -hmm. But what you want is you just put a lid on mm. and just steam the potato a bit and half cook it. Yeah, keep doing that for a minute. It smells good already. <laughs> Smells great. Can we just eat this? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> New plan, guys. We're making um, potato, potato with cumin. With cum, cumin, on, on, onion. Know, what do we call this? Garlic, fancy, ginger. Fancy. Stir fry. Fancy boiled potato. <laughs> <laughs> it's not boiled. I know, I know. That's why I'm not entirely sure what to call it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to test it and see if it's half cooked. If it's already half cooked. Then I am going to put the eggplant in, but I don't think so. This smells good. Mm. Okay, I'm just going to put the lid back on. Okay. Keep hearing noises. Um, I don't think you need Sichuan chilies for Mapo Tofu, you need Doubanjang. Yes, I, I have seen Doubanjang in the, um, in the Asian supermarket, but you, I thought you need some Sichuan pepper because Mapo Tofu means that it's going to be numbing. And I think for the numbing part, you will use Sichuan pepper. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Gee, that smells nice. Yeah, it smells really good, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Mm. It's very cool. Yeah, it smells just really, um... For it being such a simple thing, you wouldn't think it would smell like that. Mm. It does. Okay, um, Simon says Dapujan, is that how you said? Is Dobanja. Dobanja. Is fermented spicy chili bean paste which already have spices in it, is what um, Cinnamon says. Cool. Hmm. We'll see what we can, um, we'll see what we can get though here. Hmm. In the sense of, um, it may not have it in it. It may though, I don't know. We will have a little look. Or well, you will have a look anyway. <laughs> um, I will have a little look, yes. And actually see. Mm. It smells good. Mm. Just potato and cumin and onion. So, um, so you're having lunch at the moment, um, cinnamon. So this might be like midday for you. Yeah, lunch time. The making lunch. Mm. Mm. Because I am kind of making lunch as well now. Yeah. Sort of lunch time, it's heading sort towards of that time on. of the day. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'm going to stab a fork and see if it's. Yeah, still not. Because we're using a lot of potatoes, so. <laughs> mm. It's gonna take a while to make them like cook. That's okay. Yeah, we we'll just take a little bit of um, a little bit of time, guys. Smells good though. Mm. Smells very good. Yeah. Mm. Um, unless if you make sis, I can't even say. Sichuan mapo tofu. Oh, okay. So you have um, what you call it um, a lot of version of mapo tofu because the only mapo tofu I've ever tasted and know is actually Sichuan mapo tofu. Interesting. Mm. Mm. So yeah. So you do have um, a lot of version of it, I take it? Mm. That's really, really interesting. I am hungry. 
I am too, but <laughs> alas, guys, we're going to have to wait a while because um, these potatoes, they're not cooked yet. Yes, Szechuan and other Chinese cuisine can be different. Yeah, okay, so there's other mapu tofus. Hmm, intriguing. What is your favorite um, Chinese dish? Cinnamon. Hmm. It smells good. It smells really good. As I said, I, I wanted it one day to do a very simple food week as well. I just need to think about it. Um, what simple food? I, I don't know, but just to show that um, you can kind of hear a single ingredient very well. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah just like a braised potato. Or... Kind of, yeah. yeah. Mm. Or just like a baked potato even. Baked potato can be really, really nice. Yeah, with just a few simple things, you know. It's not like it has to um, have too many things. So simple food week. I just haven't given it enough thought yet. Because it can't be too simple because then it will be like very quick. <laughs> <laughs> simple food week, guys. Okay. This only takes you five minutes. Now we've got two hours to, um, to kill. So, uh, yeah. We can make like just rice. <laughs> simple, simple food week. Starring rice. Rice and salt. And okay. salt. Okay. Salted okay. rice. Yeah, I really think good. that is half cooked, so I'm going to put the eggplant in. Okay, I'll film that too. Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. ready? Yep, go for it. Boom. 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 This a lot of eggplant. <laughs> You never have too much eggplant. I hope my pot can fit all of this. Um, if it can't, then that's just spare eggplant. Yeah. Yeah, you can, you know, that's okay. You can give it to someone who wants eggplant. Like my cats. Salted eggplant. It's a commodity here. Okay. <laughs> Cinnamon says Lo Han Jai mm -hmm. um, and Xiang Jai and Bing. What's that? Probably something that doesn't sound remotely like I pronounced, I would say. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, this is a lot of eggplant. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I'm, I'm dropping eggplant everywhere. Guys. It's fine. It's fine. It's um, fine. Chill, guys, chill. Han Chin Ping as well. Um, that is one of my childhood um, favorites. Okay, interesting. I have a little look at them. Um, so what is that? See, I realized, what? I realized. I think I might need to like take out some of the eggplant. You can if you want, yeah. <laughs> Bye eggplant. Well, sometimes Bye eggplant. you have too much eggplant. Okay, it was a massive eggplant. It was a massive eggplant. Yeah. Okay. I think I might be able to do it now. It's still hard, but. <laughs> Just bear with me here, guys. Bear okay, with me. Okay, it's um, I'm, I'm googling. Um, I'm googling last one. Okay, let's have a look. No, Tim was just telling. Sorry about it. Okay, Lohan Jai maybe mm -hmm. um is uh, is Buddha delight dumplings, which is a vegetarian um dumpling. Oh, that's Ooh, be that's yum. Be yum. I I do like dumplings. Yep. Bye. We need a massive like. Yeah, I do need a bigger pot. <laughs> but that's okay. It all goes down, guys. It all goes down. Oh, that looks nice. I'm looking at it now. Buddha's Delight. Maybe we so can make how, that at some point. How did, how did they do it? Lohan Jai, Walks of Light. Mm. Is it a dumpling? Yeah. Is it really? Uh, I'm sure that's what Cinnamon said. Yeah, Delight Dumpling. Yeah, is a Buddha Delight Dumpling, which is vegetarian um, dumpling. Dash is back. How Dash is back. Doing, how are you Dash? doing, Dash? Look yes, I am struggling with the eggplant, but that's okay. Look at all the potato and eggplant dash. <laughs> um, okay, Xin Jingbing is a street food like crepe, but made from egg and vegetable mix. So oh, you would like that. I would like that. Yeah, you yeah. do like that. I um, do like pancakey stuff. That's why I do want to make scallion pancake. Mm. Yeah. These sound yum, by the way. Hmm? These sound yum. This sounds yum. Yeah, what they say. What um, Cinnamon's talking about. Oh, okay. The yeah. egg, egg thing? Yeah. What is, do you, do you have Australian street food? What is Australian street food? A street potato food? on a stick that's deep fried and curled. Is it really? 
No, what? Are you saying tornado potato? Tornado but... potato. <laughs> what? Tornado potato is Korean. Tornado is a strategy adventure. No, it's not. <laughs> um, look, our, our food, Australian food, I've said this before, Australian food is very much um, multicultural. Multiculture. It really is. I, I find it interesting because um, uh, a lot of places don't have it to the degree we do in the sense of like... Um, America has their cuisine and then international food. Australian food is really just... International yeah, food. And, and, but it's international food that's been here for a very long time. Hmm. It's not like it's, oh, look at the, you know, Chinese um, restaurant that's new. No Australian has got to try that. There's been, there's a Chinese restaurant in like every single town virtually in Australia, including the very little dingy towns. I mean, there's a, it, there is a Chinese immigrant boom in Australia when, during the gold rush. Though. Yeah, so the gold that, rush, I know, so so right in the early mm. days. Um, so it is it, it kind of understandable that you are more multicultural. Yeah, so it depends what you consider Australian, I guess. I mean, yeah, it, it very much does. Um, the building of the modern day Australia had a, a lot of influences from a lot of different places for a long time. Okay. Now that the purple is, the purple color of the eggplant is a bit discoloration, mm -hmm. got a bit discoloration, so I'll just put the lid back on mm -hmm. and just cook them until the potatoes is tender. Okay, Dash says how, um, how you go in cinnamon. Um, ham chin peng is a five spices dough, which is amazing pastry. I love food. five spice. Mm. I love Chinese five spice. It's really yum. Um, funnily enough, remember there was that five spice thing you showed me, but it didn't have five spices. It's oh, like the, a five the, spice. It's a spice pack from Woolworths. Yeah. It's called five spice, but it doesn't have spice spice on it. Yeah, it's only got four. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair though, in Australia, it's really hard to get like spices, like yeah. a lot of spices. Yeah. Even mm. like Indonesian spices, you don't get it, even though you're neighbor. Yeah, it's interesting. Mm. Um, don't think I've met you yet. Um, cinnamon is new. Cinnamon um, is new. Just came today. Yeah, as of today, Dash. Um, why did you plant an egg? We didn't plant an egg. What plant an egg? I don't what know. Egg? Dash is asking why did we plant an egg? We didn't. What, what egg? I don't know. I may have been <laughs> carrying on about egg. I do that sometimes. <laughs> um, there is a lot of um, Chinese um, street food I like. Um, it's so hard to pick my favorite, but I get to try... Jin Bing a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be at the top of my list. Yeah, it's intriguing, isn't it? Sometimes your favorite food, um, sometimes your favorite food actually um, is attached to memories or attached to um, just a lot of time spent with it. It's interesting. No one liked my joke. We didn't get it, Dash. I yeah, think we missed what, it. Yeah, what kind of egg? <laughs> what does that mean? What are you talking about, I'm Dash? So, sorry, Dash. I'm sorry, Dash. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit of water because it's starting to stick at the bottom mm -hmm. to just deglaze them a bit. Oh, potato down. Jiaozi being totally and... Yeah. So I said... Uh, oh, that's what I was saying. Sorry, I started saying that and then I lost my train of thought because I was carrying on about something else. But um, I often did it like when I was younger, the idea of trying Chinese food because I often, the exposure I had to Chinese takeaway was on American sitcoms, sitcoms yeah. where they show tiny Chinese takeaway and it did not appeal to me at all um, until I realized much later on in life that that was an Americanized, more fast foody version of Chinese. It was basically... Yeah. Yeah, lots of, yeah. So, it, and then I was like, oh. <laughs> but it's very different. Inspired, I guess. Again, nothing wrong with that sort of food if you like it. Um, I'm just, um, I didn't think I would. Um, that's more the American sit, um, sitcom-y thing. Um, okay. Um, my family is a mix of Muslim and Buddhist, so we often have vegetarian-based food. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. And we do cook um, mostly plant-based stuff yeah, in we our do. stream as well We've, to we... make it as approachable as possible. Yeah, we try to make it approachable for everyone. I eat a ton of plant-based food anyway, mm. um, but um, we've tried to make it as approachable as we can. So we virtually alter things a little bit sometimes, but yeah. um, um, sort of stick to it. So they could be cool. Some of them could be very cool, actually. I should... Um, do that at some point. 
Um, yeah, well, we will do Chinese Week. I'm just not entirely sure um, when. When, mm. yeah. That's a problem because we have so many plans. Um, of what are we going to cook? <laughs> yeah, we do. And But there's only two days a week that um, I do the cooking here with yellow. It's only going to be two days. So it sort of um, limits us a little bit. That smells nice. Mm, smells mm. nice. Eggplant. Mm. Yum. I tried Panda Express before and it's a disappointment. What's Panda Express? Panda Express is one of the Chinese fast food in America. Okay. Mm. It's a disappointment considered that it doesn't taste as strong as how we usually have it in Chinese cuisine. I think they try to appeal to more Western taste yes. palate. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I, I really think that's how they try to um, get a more Western um, customer. Which is, again though, a lot of like... Um, Asian cuisine is probably is not familiar in to the Western palate back in the days. Not now. Yeah. So that's how they manage to do yeah, it. Yeah, manage so to do it. Because British food is very different. British traditional food, very different. Hmm. And I'm keeping it as British because it's the earlier form of American and the earlier form of Australian. Um, but to be fair, though, um, if that's what we for, mean about the West. for Australia. Um, generally, the Chinese population that comes cooks for the Chinese population I know. instead mm. of for the Australia, so they don't lose the authenticity yeah, so of it. There was a little bit of changes, but there was a, a lot less than um, America. America. Yeah. Mm. America's longer too, keep that in mind, much longer than Australia. Um, but Dash, how's your day been? How's your day been today, Dash? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm back onto chat again. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, I hope hope it's been a um, a pretty yeah. nice day, Dash. Hopefully, it's not been um, a busy job situation happening. Hmm. Hopefully. Oh, that's interesting. The only thing I think they didn't alter is Zhao Longbao. Oh, Xiao Longbao. Yeah, Xia. How do you say that, by the way? Xiao Longbao. It's Xiao. Yeah, like Xiao Longbao. Sh okay. Um, Xiao Bao, which is a soup dumpling. It tasted the same as the original Chinese style. How interesting. I, I, I love Xiao Bao, yes. So, um, there's a science behind Xiao Bao. So, you once you bite it, there's a soup bursting into it, right? Mm -hmm. um, but they you can't really put soup in it. So, they put like a gelatinous form of the broth. Okay. Inside the inside, inside the, dumpling. the dumpling. So when you steam it, it becomes um, liquidized. Yeah, interesting. So it's really really yeah. cool technique. I would love um, I would love to one day do like. What's the word? Food travel streams, kind of. That would be lovely. <laughs> yeah, to just kind of um, boop, boop, experience boop, different boop. things. Did you okay. lose a potato? Yeah, I chopped the potato. Okay. okay. So the potato is getting tender. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dragoon. Dragoon's um, here. I'm just excited for you all to try more Canadian goodies. <laughs> but hello, friends. Did you finish um, that, um, that um, ah, I stuff up the name. See, I know. Nanaimo bars? No, no, the gravy. Oh, the gravy. Yes, I yeah. did. Yes, yeah. I did. I actually ate um, more poutine for um, poutine, dinner. Yeah. yeah, poutine gravy. Poutine. Um, yellow. You ate it for dinner, did you? Yes. Yeah. So yes, I have finished that actually. <laughs> mm. And um, I still have a little bit of the mozzarella left. Just wait, how film you do that actually. Yep, go for it. Yep. Yeah, some of them are tender, some of them not. So I'll just leave it be for like uh, maybe five minutes more. And then I'll put the spices in. Cinnamon says that's looking nice. Smelling nice too. It's shame you guys Smelling smell nice. It. Hmm. Hey, Dragoon, says the Dash. Um, now um, you see why it's so addicting, yellow, says Dragoon. Um, yeah, very much. It was yum. Yeah, we did a Canadian-inspired um, week last time because it was um, Dragoon's birthday. It was a lot of people's birthday last week, actually. It's a birthday very much week, so. wasn't it's it? It's a birthday week. What we, day is today? Uh, it is the 20th, 20th, so it's almost Taurus birthday, Almost Taurus, yeah, close. Um, hey everyone, says Dragoon. Hi, says Cinnamon. Um, and yeah, welcome in Dragoon. How's your day been going? I'm preparing the garam masala. 
Mm. I'm gonna open it just a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. Tell me when you're gonna pour it in our film. Yeah, I will. Um, it smells really great in here. Yeah, Indian week this week. Indian week. Hmm. So we. Uh, I raided my local Asian supermarket. <laughs> Got a lot of eggplant. Got a lot of eggplant. Mm. Got a lot of spices. Mm. This smells good. Okay. We'll see if the potato's ready. It's all right, it's just past 9 p.m. here. Okay, so it's not too late then. It's not it's too late. evening, but it's not like late in the evening. Um, so that's not too bad. Um, you celebrating people's birthday online, that's nice. Yeah, just the um, people from chat and Discord and stuff. That, um, the ones who are happy to. The one happy to yeah. disclose that, yeah. Yeah, the ones who are happy to share their birthday. Um, so it's nice, yeah. Nice to okay. celebrate that with those who wish. So now, now that the um, potato is fork tender, mm -hmm. when I stab it with a fork, <laughs> I will put in the spices. I call it stabbable, but apparently it's called fork tender. <laughs> it's fork tender. Okay. So we're going to put a little bit of turmeric. This is turmeric -y. And just I'm wait. just going to put over here. not much, just like a half a teaspoon in. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yep. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. And I will put a little of chili powder. Not gonna be a lot since I'm still feeding Mickey. I have to eat it, guys. <laughs> he has to eat it. So I will just put like a pinch of it like half a teaspoon as well. Yeah, let me have a different um, definition of pinch. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll put the coriander. Oh, sorry. I need to open the coriander first. This is new. Can you open that, Mickey? Yep. Can you help me with that? Mm-hmm. Hold that for a sec. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're just opening the coriander for a sec. Yeah, because that's new. You want that? Yeah, the big one. Yeah. Yep. Um, so for coriander powder, we're Sweet. gonna put. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna Go put around one and a half teaspoon, so a bit more, in the chili powder, and then we're gonna put the same amount for the garam masala. Okay. This is new tea. You go. And then I'm gonna mix them around. Okay, now we can just try that. And go for it. I can smell cinnamon, I can smell clove, I can smell the turmeric. This is smelling great. Again though, you can adjust all the taste, oh no, all the spices that I'm using here. If you prefer more coriander, you can put more coriander. If you prefer more turmeric, you can get more turmeric sort of situation. Uh, it smells good. It smells spicy. And so then all that's left is the, um, the, the tomato, tomato puree. Eventually. Yep. Tell me when. Um, um, that's nice. Um, it can't. Um, that's nice. It can't be that spicy. Yeah, it won't be that spicy. No, it won't be that spicy. No. <laughs> Again, though, I'm. This is not just for me. <laughs> yeah, I have to eat it as well. And um, again, if you want it to be more spicy, you can actually put um fresh chili in here, like green chili or red chili. Yeah, if you have a higher spice tolerance than me, <laughs> um, <laughs> then up that spiciness. I mean, to be fair though, I said it to Mickey that Mickey actually has um, a higher spice tolerance than most Australians. So my spice tolerance is actually okay. Oh, I should film you do that. Oh, sorry. Yep. Okay, go for it. Yeah, just salt them a little bit. I like spicy foods as cinnamon. Yeah, I do too. Um, Probably not to the same degree that you mean spicy though. 
<laughs> I'm going to assume. <laughs> okay. Oh, but it's not for lack of light liking though. If no. You know what I mean. I yeah. actually, I do actually really like um, spicy food. I like the taste of it, I like the feeling of it. Um, it's more the um, ability to eat it. Okay. So I'm going to put the tomato puree. Okay. I filled that. Yeah. Full tomato puree time, guys. So not too many. I will just put like around 250. And just um, stir fry them for a bit. Okay, you can stir that in if you want. Just going to stir fry it a bit until everything clings to the potato, and then we're basically done. Oh, I haven't um, think my rice first. Um, I like spicy food. Cinnamon says they actually sold spicy bao where I live. Oh, um, it's nice with the gluten wheat inside. Yeah, that's kind of cool with the gluten wheat inside. Uh, what, what is, wait, gluten, wheat inside, what is spicy it's, bell then? That, spicy that bell is, right, is just the um, spicy steam bell. Yeah, okay, so what would the gluten, wheat thing be then? It, in the inside of it, I would say. Mm, okay, yeah, yeah, on the inside, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, Vane, how are we doing today? Hello. Hi, um, Vane, we're you... making some Indian cuisine. Vane says, hello all. I um, hope you'll have um, a wonderful day. Sorry, I came to um, stream late. That is okay, Zane. It's great seeing you. Yeah, we're just doing a bit of um, Indian-inspired dishes today. Um, it smells beautiful. It, it really smells does. amazing. I kind of mm. want to... It's, I'm, I will taste a bit before serving mm. and see how um, what um, spices I need to add. Mm. Um, but how are you doing today? Um, how are you doing today, Vane? Vane? Hopefully you mm. had a nice birthday yeah, last week. Hmm. Hopefully it was an okay day. Hmm. Hopefully it was an okay day. Mm. Um, the filling is gluten wheat dough. Yeah, really. It would be good to do. Um, it would be good to do a lot of cooking streams, but um, it, it costs a fair bit of money to get the ingredients. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, there's a lot of cleanup involved. We never show the cleanup, okay? We Yellow, never Yellow do. finishes the stream, we eat it, and then um, we sit here and clean a long time. Um, so yeah, we, we'll see how we go. But I do like the, the two streams of the week. And as I said, we're going to be we're coming back tomorrow. By the way, um, Zane and Dragoon and um, anyone else who's um, who's around in Cinnamon, if you um, if you're available tomorrow, I'm not sure. But um, we're going to be back tomorrow. Um, usually, I'm going to be doing a. Um, Usually I'm going to be doing a gaming stream, but tomorrow we're just doing a few tests of said gaming stream. Um, and we're going to be starting with trying um, a fruit called Miracle Berries. Is that what it is? Miracle Berries? Miracle, miracle Berries. Yeah, Miracle Berries, which makes sour stuff sweet. So yeah, it's going to be, um, it's going to be interesting. I'm just going to put a little bit mm. more spices because... Taste-wise? Taste-wise. Mm -hmm. Smells I it, nice. I want it to be a little bit more strong. Mm-hmm. Just returned from I'm um, celebrating my last Father's Day. Just returned from celebrating my last Father's Day. Okay, as in today. If that's what you mean. Hopefully, um, hopefully it was okay. Yeah, hopefully it's okay. Hmm. Hannah. Hello, Hello says Hannah. How, how is you going, Hannah? How is you going? I'm not sure entirely what you mean by last Father's Day, though. Hopefully it's um, nothing too um, too sad for you. Um, but I, I hope it was nice anyway. Um, how are you going today, Hannah? How is your day progressing? Um, Cinnamon said, not sure if I could be around tomorrow, but we'll see. My schedule's a little bit of um, on the everywhere side. Yeah, I know. It's it's a bit tricky, isn't it? Schedules in life. I do it as well. It's that's why I'm trying now. I'm trying to do the. I'm trying to get back to those three days a week. We start about um. How long? An hour before now? No, an hour and around an hour and a half probably is is when we usually start. Um, but um, just trying to um, do that for 
three days a week, um, as in today, tomorrow, and the next day, see how that goes. I used to stream almost every day. Well, you did. Yeah. Back then, it was like four days a week. Four days, and then five for just a little bit. Then I burnt out. Um, <laughs> you did. Yeah. Um, so, okay, Dane. Celebrating Father's Day with my father for the last time. Okay, Dane. I thought, yeah, I thought it may have been something like that. I hope it was... Um, I hope it was a precious moment, shall we mm. say that? Yeah. It's hard, Dane. It's well, hard, and I'm sorry. Yeah, very much. Um, life often will... Um, I'll go into my face for a minute. Um, life often is full of a lot of very um, difficult moments, and sad moments, um, that we have to um, somehow work on facing. Um, no, we can do a sort of face as best we can until um, until the next one and try and do that again. But I, I hope it was an okay moment as much as it can be. Um, but it's sad. And it's okay that it's sad. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, please care, take care, care, says Cinnamon. Yeah, very much. Um, as best you can. Um, Hannah says I'm actually really good right now. Um, I've got a note that I've okay I'll go back onto um, yellow cooking for a sec and then um, I'll read what um, what um, Hannah said um, it's actually really good right now I got a notification that I've been accepted to the new university okay oh, good that's good and I got a pretty good amount of money in a transfer scholarship oh that is actually cool I, that's cool I didn't know yeah I didn't know you could um you could get that that's Excellent. That's excellent. That's really excellent. Good job, Hannah. Yeah, very good job. When when did you start? Um, when did you start it, um, Hannah? And also, this is pretty much done. Smells great. I'll film it again, just the last little bit, because um, it looks a bit more. What's the word? Curry. Curry. -y. Yep. So just um, stir it around a bit. Cool. And now we'll remove the spoon thing. Yum. Okay, I'll just read chat and then um, it's probably time to, to play time, I think. Hmm. Um, Thane said it's fine. It's something I've long accepted with the condition he's in. Yeah, it's um, difficult. I've often, um, I've often tried to work out myself whether it is um, better being an unexpected thing or being a um, expected, a known thing, yeah, yeah. known thing. And I honestly don't know. I've, I've dealt with that myself in my own life and I, I'm not sure um, but yeah it's good that you're um, it's good that you're facing it in the way that you are um, because there's no other thing to do I guess um, Hannah says also what I think is probably the best news is that I think I'm in love for the first time in my life I'm incredibly happy with who I'm with and things are just getting better and better that's really good that's yeah. really nice, Hannah. That's really good. Yeah, you said you, um, yeah. He, he seems nice. From the little bit that you've told us, yeah. Um, that's good. It's nice to, it's nice to be loved and to be loved in return, as it would be. Um, to be treated well, to be cared about, to be, um, yeah. Acknowledged for who you are, I would say. Mm. Um. Should be in August. Okay. Yep. So yeah. Okay. So let's yeah a few months away. Um, my father suffers from a brain um, tumor, and he doesn't remember a lot of things, including me. But it was a precious moment to spend um, some time with him for the last time. Um, yeah. Very very much. Um, which is why I suppose the advice to everyone is to try and um, try and gain from the moments we have with each other, um, whether they are by ourself even, by ourself just chilling in a room, nothing wrong with that, or with other people that we care for, it's good. Gain what you can um, from the most because they can be fleeting. Um, but that's good thing, I'm, I'm glad. I mean, I'm not glad it's happening, obviously, but I'm glad you got that experience with him. Yeah, I'm sorry that you had to go mm. through that, but um, yeah, hopefully, it was a sweet moment. Mm, hopefully so, because it's hard. It's very hard. 
Um, food looks amazing, by the way, says Dane. It really does. It smells like yum as anything. Hmm. Should I clean up a bit and we um, be in the brie right back? And yeah. then we'll plate up. Yeah, um, we can do that. I'll just put it on a little um, Be Right Back screen while we do that. Would you like to do the ad thing too? Um, yeah, I'll pop on a 1 minute 30 second ad just while we're in the Be Right Back screen. So then um, none of you guys will get interrupted by an ad while we eat and chat to you, um, <laughs> which is annoying. Um, so yeah, sit back and look at the ads and um, enjoy. Hopefully you'll get good ones. Quacky gets good ones. Hopefully you get like... Um, Quacky always get like cookie ads. Cookie ads and stuff. They're much <laughs> better. Um, so um, yeah, um, Hannah, um, Thane and um, um, Cinnamon and everyone else who's um, chilling here. We'll be back in, back in a minute. I'll just put, put a little ad on and yellow will clean up and then I'll plate it up. Like um, looks like cinnamon got the best ads for today. Um, <laughs> life insurance. They always get the life insurance. I know it's me. Um, cinnamon said though that they don't even watch that. They don't even play Dungeon and Dragons. Um, yeah, the ads are not. What's the word? I mean, to be fair, the the D and D movie looks like they. Okay, how do I say this? They try to be Marvel, if you know what I mean. What, appeal to a very wide audience? Yes, very much so. Kind of, yeah. Hmm. Hannah said, I got Geiko. What's Geiko? Is, it, is that the lizard? That's Gecko. That's a Gecko? No, that's Godzilla. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm obsessed with symmetry and I'm failing in every mark of it because when I go up or down, it goes... The, ah, there we are. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Cinnamon said, I for once, I wish Twitch take customer data and actually giving the ads that fewer likes. <laughs> yeah, it's the first time. We get ads constantly and yet none of them are actually um, tailored towards us. Okay, Cinnamon said, let's not talk about Gecko. I have a pho phobia of Gecko. Yeah, oh, sorry, do Cinnamon. You? Interesting. Mm, that's interesting. Though. Yeah, I get that. Mm, I mm. get that too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I meant to be, um, no, no, that's okay. 
So I'm just fiddling good. for a moment, guys. But it does smell good. Okay, really Hannah good. said it's car insurance. Maybe that's a sign, Hannah. Oh, you're right. It is. <laughs> yes, she's right. Maybe it's a sign. A sign of what? Huh? A sign of what? You need car insurance. You need car. You need a car. <laughs> um, Cinnamon said talk is fine. Just a joke, but don't actually show Gecko on screen. I would not. <laughs> I would never do that. <laughs> yeah, there's a few things that... Um, people uh, scared of scared of yeah we do have um a wider range of phobia in our viewership um quacky doesn't like rabbits um i don't like cockroach um what don't, don't you like mickey what of animals or of things I capitalism don't like <laughs> capitalism <laughs> damn with capitalism my word um no i don't like heights heights um yeah heights is your um my one kryptonite Kind of, yeah. I don't do heights at all. Um, Hannah said, I'm considering watching the D&D movie. My partner's the movie buff, so he'll probably watch it with me. It looks fun. But here's, yeah, but that's it. It looks fun. Yeah. So I don't think it's going to be, I don't think you're going to watch it and go, wow, I'm changed by watching this movie. But I think you might watch it and go, that was fun. Yeah, just Which, like, by the way, just, is not just bad. like Shazam. Yeah. Mm. You, you might not have your life, I mean... To be fair, how many movies do you watch with, you go, wow, my life was changed because of this movie? I don't... Uh, some do. Some do. Hot Fuzz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Other, other than Hot Fuzz for Yellow, my apparently. Fa my favorite movie is actually Hot Fuzz. And I know it's not, it's not deep in any way, but I really, really love the humor. If someone asked me what kind of humor do I like, I just point that to that movie <laughs> and they would understand it. <laughs> My favorite movie is Lord of the Rings. Um, I don't know if that. I don't know if Hannah likes Lord of the Rings. I'm not sure. Maybe. 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 It, it, it's not like Hannah has it on, on their username or something. I can't remember when I started to call Hannah Hannah and not Lord of, Lord of the Rings. Probably very early on. Mm. Um, so Hannah says large bodies of water. Again, understandable. It's large body of water's phobia is most. It's kind of like dark. Like afraid of the dark because you mm. don't know what's lurking inside that. Hmm. The unknown is a very um, powerful thing to fear. Um, have you watched Zem, the new one? Um, I have not, but I am planning to. So there is this um, amazing cinema near me and I would like to go there, actually. Yeah. Um, I watch Hachiko with my sisters. Both of them cry like babies. And I didn't even shed a tears, and now my family calling me so sociopath. Who said that? Um, Cinnamon. Hmm. I really think Hachiko. Wait, Hachiko is the one with the Shiba Inu, right? The dog who waits for the owner in the um, train station. I think. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely. I don't I have actually. Not watched is it a is it a Japanese it. movie? Uh, I it think sounds it was, Japanese. I think it was Japanese movie, but then it got um adapted to american okay yeah hmm. um hannah said favorite book favorite movie series favorite everything <laughs> <laughs> Lord of the Rings is a lifestyle <laughs> hannah by the way you were like this the other day right um i was in the back of my um the back of my um my place me home mm -hmm. um and the neighbor had their tv just loud enough um, so I could hear it. I heard one line. What was it? I heard, um, oh, what was it? Um, just give me a sec. I need, I need to think of this. Um, yeah. Okay. I heard come here. The one line come here. <laughs> and from that, I knew exactly that it was, um, Lord of the Rings, the two towers. And I knew exactly where they were just from come here. It was the orc with Merry and Pippin grabbing the belt. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> See? Mm. Um, Hannah said, I cry at stuff so easily. Cinnamon said, I don't cry often. Actually, never cried at any movie, video, or story. Uh, Hannah said, your neighbor is my new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, are you my neighbor? Were you watching okay, one of those? I, I do get touched easily by movie, um, but not when they try to pander. <laughs> When you know in movies when it's obvious they want you to cry at certain scene, I don't cry at that. 
yeah, I don't tend to get led too much down the path if the leading of it is too um, in your face. Yeah, if yeah. it's too in your face, then I don't cry. Uh, just like, okay, like, um, what's the name? Jack and Rose, when Jack went down the water. Spoiler alert, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's an old movie, guys. It's... Hopefully you've seen it. <laughs> People say it's sad and some of them are, are crying over it, but it's too much stage for me. Mm -hmm. Very much so. Um, Hannah said Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> Titanic what? Titanic and then cry. Maybe yeah. Hannah cries for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I get touched easy as well. Um, yeah, I do get touched easy. Unless I'm triggered by something, if it's if it's something that is related to any sadness or whatever I've had in life, then I can be, because you you get um. Yeah, Hannah said it's so sad every time. Yeah, see? I get it though. I get it. I very much get why people would be sad. It's just that they frame it so it had to be sad for everyone, and I can't. Yeah. I can't get into the sadness if it's like, you have to. Yellow prefers the, yeah, you you want the singular sadness. You want the, that's sad in hindsight, maybe. Kind of. Yeah. I do watch, I don't know if you guys have watched this. I've watched The Green Mile. I, I credit that one. Anyone ever watch Shadowlands? It's an incredibly old movie and I will never watch it again. It was so, yeah, I found it so sad. Hannah said, I cried watching Boromir die the first time. <laughs> I yeah, get well, that. that's understandable. That's Boromir understandable. Is a... That is, um, yeah, it's sad. That was sad. Um, that's one of the few times I actually think um, Peter Jackson may have done a, a slightly better job than the book. I, I actually think, yeah. People would disagree with it, but I actually think he captured that very, very well. Um, Dane said, I do not cry often as well. Cinnamon said, I watched Green Mile, never cried, but it is a touching movie. It is a really touching movie. I really like the story of it. Um, Hannah said, my partner wants me to watch Green Mile so bad. I think you would like it. I don't you even think really I've seen like Green it. Mile. Ukulele 9999. Hello. Hello, ukulele. That's a cool name. That's a really cool name. Mm. So how are you going today? Thank you for coming to the street. What brings you here? Are do you like cooking? Are you a cooking streamer yourself, or do you just like Indian food? Indian food is pretty good. Um, mm. Yeah, or maybe you're just into eating, which I get. Yeah, so ukulele nine nine nine. I know you have Hangul there on your name, but I don't exactly know how to re read it. So ukulele. If would, you, <laughs> so if you would like to um, tell us what that means. Yeah, we can change the name mm. if you want. For now, it's ukulele, which is a miracle. I stuff up everyone's name, ukulele, like dreadfully stuff it up. Um, so yeah, hello and welcome. Hopefully uh, um, you enjoy our stream. Yes, we're up to the point of making where we get to eat it, which is kind of cool. Ow. It's also hot. Really um, hot. Watch Bridge, Bridge to Therabithia. Okay, um, haven't I, seen that I, either. I think I know what the story is about, but I've never watched it. And people say it's sad. Um, Hannah said, Ian McCallan made sure Peter stuck to the book as much as possible. He would literally reference the book in certain scenes to make sure they followed it as precisely as possible. Yeah. See, I know that, um, I know that people say like they're unhappy with particular things being left out of the book or whatever, but it was a good adaption. It really was. I'm not yeah. saying it's perfect, but you can't make everything perfect. Um, Often in film. Yeah, it's you, ha, by the way. That's the hangul. Um, I just woke up and on seeing the food you made, so I came in. <laughs> yeah, we, we are doing Indian week today, um, this week. So this right here is alu benga. So it's a semi-dry um, potato eggplant curry. And so do you like Indian food, you ha? It smells beautiful. It, it really Yeah, it does. smells beautiful. And I tasted it a bit. It, it tastes amazing. Mm. Um, yeah, thank you, Cinnamon, for, um, translating for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yuha said, of course, oh, would you like me to call you Yuha or ukulele 9999? Oh, 9999. Oh, ukulele. <laughs> or um, if you give it like a couple of weeks, something else. I'm, I'm putting too much on. I think, I think we're good. 
stick with it. That's okay. I like coriander, okay? There's no such thing as too much coriander. But it needs to look symmetrical. No, it doesn't. I'm not making it <laughs> symmetrical, guys. Don't judge my symmetry. Also, another fun fact, Hannah said, Christopher Lee, who portrayed Saruman, was told to mimic someone getting stabbed and what they said to do, he said, that's not right because he was in a war and knew exactly what it sounded like and mimic it based off of that. Yeah, I remember him saying that. Also one of the few people to actually meet Tolkien. Oh, really? Yeah, That's Tolkien, cool. I'm sure Tolkien, I, I could be wrong about that, but Tolkien actually talked to him and, and was under like under the, yeah, it'd be cool if you played Gandalf, if ever they make a mm. live action film of it. But it was a long time ago. Keep in mind, Tolkien's from yeah. a fair while ago. Therefore, by the time they got to Lord of the Rings, I don't know if um, he would have been up to doing Gandalf. Um, Sir Ian is a preci precious gift to this earth. Lol, I adore him. <laughs> Um, curry is Korean favorite food. Is it really? Which, what type of curry? My favorite curry is actually Japanese. Japanese curry. Yeah, I do, I do like, I do like curry. <laughs> like, I really like curry. Um, you have said looks yummy. Thank you. Um, again, this is my first time making Indian curry from scratch. So all the spices blend and everything else, it's from, it's not from a packet basically. So I hope it's nice. Yeah, I've, I've never done it either. Um, smells good. Looks good. Um, back in the day of my deployment, there is this British Indian Marine cooking a curry in the middle of the wilderness using a make makeshift pot made out of coconut husk. It's funny but delicious. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Um, I mean, coconut is really great for cooking stuff as well. I know it's not a great, um, ins not insulator, what is it? What's it called? Um, so heat doesn't travel well with it, but it does retain heat. Um, you have said beef, um, or spicy maybe. Mm, I do really like curry. Yeah, we've made this a little less spicy because of me. Basically. Yes, <laughs> but you can use, um, fresh chili or more chili powder if you would like. Again, if you like it spicy, but since Mickey is eating it, I just put half a teaspoon of, um, chili powder. Cinnamon said, curry raisu is yum. It is very yum. My favorite curry. I don't know though. Maybe this one would be. <laughs> Maybe this is our favorite curry. Just waiting to happen, guys. Um, Hannah said, I'm trying to find time to binge watch the Hobbit movies and Lord of the Ring with my partner. All, of, all at once. The Hobbit and the Lord of the Ring extended, extended version. version. Let's go. Okay, movie it's gonna, night. It's going to be like a one day Movie event. night in Discord. Okay. <laughs> Hannah's in charge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just taking a photo, guys, and I'm, I'm almost done. And then I'll come down and um, chat to We're people. We're going to eat. And what, oh, wait, are we calling the, them ukulele or um, what's, what's their name? Um, Yuha. Yeah, Yuha. so Yuha, would you like us to call you Yuha or ukulele? Which one? Um, either way, um, yeah, thanks for joining us. I'm sorry that you missed some of the cooking adventures, but you get to see the yum yum food. Um, for, um, yeah, we, we stream twice a week. We stream food twice a week. Mm -hmm. Um, and, um, yeah. Okay. Wait, there we are. Cool. Um, yeah, we stream food twice a week. So this is one of the times. Um, and in two days time, we'll be back That's mine. Um, doing that it again. Mine or yours? Either way, they're pretty much the same. You oh, don't, have to, don't have to eat it all if I've given you, um, if I've given you too much, much, that's okay. Um, but yeah, this is one of the times we're going to be back in two days time to make, um, we, we're going to more. make, um, dal, some dal tatka and some, um, made from scratch roti. We're going to yeah. make our own roti. We're doing that in two days time. Tomorrow we're actually back doing um, some taste testing with this thing called Miracle Fruit that makes anything <laughs> sour sweet. So that's going to be interesting as well. That's going to be interesting, yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay, we're going to try this. Itadakimasu. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's yum. It smells beautiful. It smells really good. Okay. Yep. Yum. Good. Mm. Very good. Yeah. Again, not comparable to the Indian restaurant near me, 
Mm -hmm. Not really bad. Good. Not bad. Not bad. Mm. Close. Definitely the closest. Um, I might use more spices next mm. time. I actually think the secret is just more spices. More spices. Mm. Salt as well. It's really good though. This is good. Mm. Yeah, this is a definite success. Hmm. A little bit done, guys. Really, really, really good. Yeah, and the potatoes tender. Okay, he said, wow, yeah, it's very nice. Hmm. Um. The, um, to me, the only joy in reading book is to pass it on to someone else to enjoy it. I've actually heard that by several people. It's a nice, um, very nice notion. Nice sentiment, yeah. nice yeah. sentiment. In the, I have all three books in one book. Yeah, I bet that's a thick book. It's <laughs> one of my prized possessions along with what I think I might go for. was said to be a collector's, um, me as well maybe, edition of The Hobbit. It's gold and has a gold case. Mm. This is really nice, guys. This um, is really nice. I'm really happy with this. We're going to put the recipe up for, um, yeah, for those in Discord, you'll see the recipe in a few days. For those who are um, on Instagram here, I'm going to put the socials up. Uh, for those who are on Instagram, you also see the video um, done in the next few days. Mm. Um, or YouTube as well, I'll put it up. But, um, yeah, it's very, very good. The mm. eggplant's good. Have you tried the eggplant? Yeah, it's lovely. It was in the um, first bite I tried, actually. Mm. Mm. So, I'm actually pretty happy with this. I'm really happy with this. Mm. Yeah, so next time I think I'll just put more spices. Mm. So, how's your lunch going, by the way? Um, cinnamon. How's mm. your cow food going? Hopefully, hopefully yum. Mm. And hopefully you get something to eat while watching us. <laughs> yeah, very much so, because um, I know it's a bit hard when... Um, that's yum. Mm. I know it's a bit hard when... Um, and you, you have ho hopefully by watching us eat, wakes you up more. <laughs> I'm trying to go into... Uh, oh, is it, was it early for them? Mm. Yeah. They just woke up. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I would do it, yeah, ukulele or new harp. Um, yeah, this is really nice. This is really nice. Mm. And I will eat it with the coriander. Let's see, with the coriander. Mm -hmm. um, so, cinnamon. Um, I'm a member of a book club, but the book club often collects books we have read or we no longer read to be given to children in need, orphanage and charity like the library and the way, which is a truck library that travels from place to place. That's really That's nice. That's really mm. nice. That is really nice. Yeah. I do have a collection of um, novel as well. And it's really hard to part ways with them. Mm. Especially if you like the story so much. But again, though, it's there's a limited amount of number of times I will read it. So it's better for it to go to some mm. one else. Yeah. Mm. That's really actually nice. I like that a lot. Yeah. Mm. Um. That is amazing, and I love you for that. <laughs> yeah, Hannah, that's amazing actually. And cinnamon said still more morning. Um, they cook it later. Still waiting on shiitake delivery. Oh, you're getting your shiitake delivered. That's fancy. In Australia, we that's going to be like seven system. days. <laughs> In Australia, you want your shiitake, you have to go out. You have to get it. No one's going to deliver it. You go to your forest. <laughs> And you speak to the trees and ask them kindly. <laughs> um, um, very much so. I want to, yeah, be, I want there. to be there. Yeah, I, I, I get that. I really do get that. We can send you some. So, are you in Korea, by the way, Yuha? We have a Korean f um, friend called Goldfish in here mm. as well. So, we can um, send you a package. <laughs> yeah, we just get a paper it's bag. It's not too spicy, is it? Not at all. Mm. We just get a paper bag, right? We put the food in the paper bag. We wish really hard. <laughs> the paper bag then seals up, contains the food in perfect order, <laughs> transports itself to wherever it's, you know, wanted. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. They call it the Mickey Dizzle slash yellow food delivery <laughs> service. Um, it is nice though. It would be nice if we could share this food with the people that um, after it's made, but alas. Hmm. I've always been big into reading, says Hannah. When I finish with my books, I always give them to the public library. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's nice. Really nice. No, that's nice. Mm. 
Um, even to taste the smell. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. You can eat palm. Pub subscribe. I'm, I'm here for my. I'm here for my food palm. Here you are. It is. Um. Wait, what's the? Yeah, can I hold it like that? Can you see that? We have so much leftover. In yeah, we do. There's a like lot that. of leftovers. You can have a massive pot of it. Not the little plate Quacky talks about. Like a big. Like a big, big pot. pot. Mm. So um, I can see that. How are we doing today, palm? How are you going, Palm? How is your new PC going? Mmm, that's so, exciting. Palm has a new PC, guys. Mmm. That is Palm, really good. Palm has wanted a new PC since I think we first met. Since like 2020. Mmm. Um, sharing your experience and joy of reading a book is what matters. That alone is admirable. Yeah, very much so. What Cinnamon said. Hey, yo. Um, shiitake delivery actually in 20 minutes. How is that even possible? That's mm. fast. Mm. I mean, I can go to uh, my local Asian supermarket in like 15 minutes and buy it, but never deliver it. I mean, yeah. Mm. Unless you want to then come back, drop it at the front door, run inside, close the door, open the door and be like, whoa, 15 minute delivery. It's just I had to do it myself, but done. You clearly said yes. Okay, mm. so you clearly is in um, Korea. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we did a Korean, Korean week. Um... Oh yeah, we did Korean week. Um, like two, three weeks ago, hmm. we made um sundubu jjigae, and we made some rose pasta. Very nice. So like hmm. Korean fusion with the rose pasta and um, hmm, yum. Have you ever tried limeade? I'm drinking it right now. Is it like lemonade but like with lemonade limes? but with lime? Hmm. So if yes, then yes. <laughs> um, it's not as good as I've had before. Um, um, I just breathed in a little bit of food. <laughs> Where's Quacky? Quacky is lurking, actually. Mm -hmm. um, he's in Argentina. Um, so, yeah, he is lurking. He, is, he was in chat before. Hmm. He was actually here at like 10 or something. Yeah. Quacky was here like 40 minutes. <laughs> 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 40 minutes before we started streaming. That's dedication. One oh. flower. The keyboard is bigger, so I make mistakes sometimes. That's okay. Oh, I get that. I really get that. Whenever I um, have transitioned over computers, um, um, I had that issue because I've generally used laptops. And a laptop keyboard is small, particularly a Mac laptop keyboard is tiny. And then you go to this massive thing and it's like, whoa. Hmm. Um, pronunciation PC, really in Chinese. Well then why did they call it PC? That's why that's Max. <laughs> Max did <laughs> we that. We call it computer. We call it computer. Um, uh, you, you guys, guys should make, make Hello oh, Hello. What's Hello Hello? I, it's a shaved ice dessert from Philippines. Ah. Mm. So it's shaved ice top with stuff. Like ube. What's uh, ube? Purple, yeah. Purple sweet potato. Mm -hmm. mm. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Mm. Um, yeah, it's lemonade with lime. Yeah. And I see you just chilling, quack everyone. Yeah, I hope you um, feel better soon, quacky. Mm. Very much so. Quacky. Rose pasta is Korean food. I thought it was Italian one. Rose pasta is more Korean Italian fusion, sort of. Because yeah. you still use gochujang in it. And I still use tteokbokki in it as well. So, so it's definitely fusion. Yeah, so it's definitely fusion. So mm. it's not exactly authentic Italian or authentic um, Korean. But definitely Korean inspired. Mm. Mm. Um, hello, Quacky says um, the Hana. Quacky says the palm. Um, uh, it's not dedication. It's someone without anything else to do, so come early. Quacky. It's dedication, it's Quacky. It's Hawaii, not Philippines. Really? I might look that up because I think the Filipinos also have um, dessert called Halo Halo. That's interesting. If, if it's mm. a Hawaii thing, I wonder what happened. Yeah, that would mm. be interesting. Mm. If it's the same name and it's the same type of dessert, that's going to be interesting. Mm. What's the history behind it? It's a Korean pasta inspired by Ita Italian, yeah. Yes. Very much so. Hmm. So are neither of you picky at all? With what? With life? Yes, I'm incredibly picky with life. With food? Kind of, not really. I don't know. 
What is picky? Depends. No, what what picking? What mm. what for food? You mean for food? I mean there is some food that I really can't eat. I don't like cinnamon. I do tolerate them when they're like in a small amount. Mm, what else do I don't like to eat? There's a limit to how much chili I can eat. It's not <laughs> like I don't like it, it's just a limit. I don't like some type of cheese as well. So I don't know if you can call it picky though. Hmm. Um there's certain things I don't eat because I'm like mildly allergic to them or whatnot, but if you mean yeah, you don't eat dairy. No, I don't eat dairy. I like dairy. When I was a kid, <laughs> I drank so much milk that a friend in my body went, no, milk is illegal. Um, but so, yeah, there is there is different things. Someone needs to clip that, no, milk is <laughs> illegal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my kids, I have spice and no, milk is illegal. Milk is illegal, guys. Um, but do you mean in food or do you mean in life? Because if you mean in life, I'm probably quite picky. Picky work I spend my time doing, picky who I choose to spend my time with, picky with friends, picky with activities in that regard. Hmm. Hmm. But I assume you mean food because you probably wouldn't use the word picky for that. I have a small problem, such so as glitching. Be right back. Okay, okay. you are uh, hopefully the internet's fixed. Yeah, hopefully you're fixed in a sec. Um, Ah, my apologies. It is Philippine, um, but adopted by Hawaii. Intriguing. Intriguing. Mm. I wonder why, though. I wonder why it was adopted to Hawaii then. But is there a lot of no, Filipino... No, no, um, my apology. Um, it is Filipino... Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it, is there a lot of, like, Filipino immigrants in Hawaii? I don't know. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm saying picky is not an option for me. No, in, in the, um, where you were, you kind of really couldn't do, um, any choices, could you? You just had to eat what you got. Hmm. Or what you could find. Um, it's very hard. I, I mean, just I just bit into like a big, massive ginger thing. It's yeah. like very gingery. <laughs> Ginger has been found. <laughs> um, I'm pretty picky food. Hello, Barry. Oh my God. Greetings from Mil Mipalo. Mipalo. Where is that? Um, which is your favorite food? Um, around the world that you wish to taste? Oh, okay, that's a good question. And mm. also, hi, Barry. Yeah, I um, think about that. Mm. Um, welcome, welcome to the channel. And what welcome brings back. you here? Yep. Do you just like food? Are you a cooking streamer? Are you into curry? Curry, <laughs> Indian curry, it tastes really good. I wonder good. where Mipalo is, I want to Google yeah, it. Yeah, you can Google that for a minute, I don't need to think of this. But yeah, welcome, welcome, Barry. Um, we are cooking streamers. I did used to be, but we are now. I talk a lot. Yellow does a lot of cooking. <laughs> um, but yeah, welcome, welcome. Um, so you missed out on the actual cooking bit, but yeah, we're just eating it now. We're making, mm. we made alu bengan, which is a semi-dry curry, um, from North India, um, potato eggplant. I think, um, oh, that's hard. Okay. Wait, you said favorite food, favorite food. I'm not sure. Favorite food? Yeah, this is what Barry's question was. Um, yeah. you, you wish to taste though? Yeah, um, favorite food is hard to tell around the world that you wish to taste. Right now, I can tell you what I do right now, definitely. Japanese food from Japan, definitely. But I think that's more to do with the fact of wanting to be in Japan because someone <laughs> I know is in Japan right now. No, not yet. Okay, in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> like 10 minutes? No, soon. Wait. Soon, uh, in two days. In two days? In two days time there will... Mm. So I think it's got it in my head of actually having fresh, authentic Japanese food. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I do like food. Um, Mickey does talk a lot, but he's good at it. Very nice and welcoming. Thank you, Hannah. Yes, it is. Um, it's a skill. 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 Um, then I have to leave now. Um, just got on Cochrane Hospital. Okay, so I'll be seeing you all next time. Have a good time and enjoy the rest of the stream, everyone. Um, yeah, they, um, I hope it goes as well as Ken, um, and, um, I'll be thinking of you if that makes any difference, but yeah, yeah. I just really hope, um, hope yeah. it's as good as can be. Yeah. And, um, we shall see you soon. Yeah. Very soon thing. Um, goodbye. And until, um, until next we see each other. Um, bye. Hope everything's all right. Says Hannah. Um, take care. Um, I'm sorry to hear what happened. Yeah. Very much. So, um, yeah. Yeah. You're a strong person now. We know that you are. Um, so hopefully it just goes as easy as it can be. I know it's not.
These things are never easy, but mm. um, one can just try and cope as best they can with them. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm getting full, but this is so yum. Me as well. This is good though. Mm. Mm. So yellow succeeded. Mm. My yeah. first Indian cuisine from scratch. Yeah, very good. Actually, that's how these streams started, by the way. So for those who've been around for a long time, like Hannah, obviously know that my favorite sort of streams are talking with people. I, I like doing that. Um, and so I really like doing that. I prefer it, in fact. Um, but then Yellow was talking about, um, has talked about for quite some time, actually wanted to do cooking streams. Um, and so, um, yeah, we decided to blend the two ideas together. Mm. Um, yellow's the cooking, I do my chatting. Um, and yeah, this is how the Yellow's Tiny Kitchen began. Began. Mm, began. And I do, I find them a lot more... Um, and by doing this, it kind of like um, broadened my um, cooking knowledge and skill as well. Because mm. most of the stuff that I make here is actually I never made it before. Mm. So hence why on Wednesday, I'm going to um, challenge myself again and make my own um, homemade roti from scratch. Mm. And dal.com. Um, potato is very filling. It, it is. I it is. It, yeah, you're right. That's and with rice. Filling. Yeah. And eggplant. What did you decide to cook next time? Oh, okay, that's what you were just answering. Yeah, so that's our plan for in two days' time. Tomorrow we'll be back though. Hmm. In two days' time, we are going to make dal tatka, which is a yellow curry with lentils that's going to simmer for a while. And then we're going to make the tatka. We're going to put it in the dal. And then we are going to make our own homemade roti. Mm. Hmm. It's going to be a simple recipe, but again, I've never made any sort of flat bread or, or bread in general. So yeah. this is going to be Your new for me. Your first bread My experience. first bread experience. Mm. Hmm. So that should be quite quite good. I'm very good, in fact. Um, oops. And um, let's see, Hannah said something, but I moved out a bit. Um, okay, I've never been a big fan of talking streams, but for some reason I enjoy making streams no matter what they are. Thanks, Hannah. Yeah, look. There's a lot of talking streams I'm not a fan of either. Kind of depends who's doing talking, maybe, or what they're talking about. It's probably very much what so. It is. I really can't handle um, people who streams and talks a lot, but with like forced enthusiasm, like "Hello, everyone, good day." It's, it's yeah, it's draining. Mm. It's energy draining for me. Yeah, um, mm. a lot of the time too. You'll find a lot of the streamers, um, how, how do I put it? Um, the interaction that they're going with, with um, the people in chat is sometimes, not all the time, obviously, not everything, but just some, um, sometimes it's fake, really. It's like, oh, hi. Uh, I don't know, I can't, I'm trying to say <laughs> <laughs> But um, they're not after any sort of connection. If you know what I mean, there's no connection being made. There's no interaction. There's no actual care per se. It's just um, a numbers game kind of, and I, I get it. I mean, it's difficult too. But the more people you end up on stream, yeah. it's um, are you finished? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With the more people you end up on stream, the more difficult it is to do. Um, I always went for meaningful streams. Keep that in mind. I stream because I want meaning. Um, therefore, potentially the meaning, well, hopefully the meaning that I seek throughout streams is able to um, equate to people watching us as well. Um, what's happening tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow we're going to do... Um, I'll show them. Yeah. I'll show them. Also, yeah, we're going we're gonna to bring back gaming streams. Tomorrow I'm going to test some gaming stuff with Palm and, um, and Tara and Yellow. If, um, and Lucas. And Lucas. Any, any of them who pop by tomorrow, we're going to test it. Um, but it's going to be a quicker stream, but what we're going to do is this. So I got this Miracle Fruit Cubes, which is just a freeze-dried Miracle Fruit. So Miracle Fruit does not taste like anything much, but if you coat your mouth and um, tongue with this, every sour fruit tastes sweet. Hmm. So we're just going to tie that. Interesting. So we're mm. going to have that. Mm. We've got some sour things that we found. Mm. Mm. So that's going to be tomorrow's. That's mm. going to be tomorrow thing. Yeah. So we're going to cut up some um, sour fruits and we're going to eat like sour candy and stuff. Um, 
And then we're going to try that with the Merkel fruit hmm. and see how that, the taste change. Yeah, so we'll see how long. It might be quick, it might not be, we'll see. Um, okay. Um, um, it can tell, okay, sorry, I need to go off a bit. Um, I used to be a regular in a stream of someone who is very talkative. He can talk for hours without anyone chat. Interesting, yeah. I mean, to be fair, it's a skill as well. Mm. Um, yeah, um, says Hannah, that's one of the reasons I stayed here. You care about your viewers enough to get to know them personally. Yeah, very much so. Um, that's why I stayed too. <laughs> yeah, and it's, and it's not a, it's not a forced thing. I remember people, um, asking me a long time ago about, you know, doing the thing of like, oh, we're friends or whatever, when there's no personal connection yet. Yeah, and you, you know? just said, we are we're, not friends. We're not, we may be, but time does that. That's how you build an actual relationship mm -hmm. with people. I want to build relationships with people, but it takes time. And things can't be... Um, you don't want to throw around friends like it's just, oh yeah, we're mates. Oh like yeah, that. we're all friends here, you know. No. <laughs> we're not. I mean, I'm friendly to everyone, mm. um, but um, I take time and I want to get to know people. And I want to form meaningful um, relationships. relationships with them. Mm. Um, I want to know them personally in, at, at a rate that they want to express that too, you know. Mm. Um, I'm not particularly pushy with this sort of stuff because I don't think it's good. Um, I was his first few, I was his only few for months. Then when he grew, he started to shadow me and even ignore me. Okay, with reason that there are too many people in chat. Eventually we grew apart and I left after, the, whoa, three yeah. years. How many people ended up in chat though? Out of curiosity That's, when they did that. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. Cinnamon. Um, and I can tell you my first, who my first two viewers were that stuck around. <laughs> one is Palm, Palm, who just popped in, and one is Night Legend. They're both mods on my channel. Um, they, um, sometimes won't be here for a while. Knight isn't here for a while because he's got school. Hmm. Um, but, um, I am incredibly grateful, not just for the role that they played originally when I started streaming, but the role they continue to play in my life. Very meaningful, um, people. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cinnamon, that they do that to you. Then, hence why it's kind of, um, different with Mickey in the sense of, um, fewer is not just a numbers game that, Mickey actually wants to connect with the viewers. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I was going to say I might make it a little bit, but um, if it's quick, then I won't be. Yeah, we will see. If you, if you do, Hannah, that'd be great. We'll see you a little bit. If not, that's okay as well. Um, we'll start about the same time yeah. and just see what happens. Because um, I do need to test out um, Stardew as well, which might take a bit. So if you pop in when we're streaming, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Let's say hi. And if not, we will probably see you next time. Um, Cinnamon says, it's not the fact that he ignored me, but the fact that he grew to be arrogant that set me off. Yeah, I didn't want to say that about stream, streaming chatting before, but a lot of the time you'll find um, a certain arrogant drink, I guess, with a lot of it. It becomes about them as opposed to about community. the community. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you have a community that kind of just... Oh my God, you're the best. Sometimes it gets to people. I know, and then they start to think they're the best and then um, mm. they become, yeah. Something. The worst version yeah. of themselves. I often have a thing. I've said it, I say it a lot, um, Cinnamon, where I say to people about, you know, stream is kind of something that allows them to become the best version of themselves that they would like to be. And that definitely applies to me as well, very much. It's, it's, the, um, it's the thing I'm trying to do. Mm. I like the continuous growth and analysis and um, the thoughts um, that can be created by sharing um, that sort of dialogue with people, I guess. Um, I don't get off till 9 tomorrow night, but I'll start getting off at 8 on Monday. The rest of the work day is cool. What time's 8 for here then? <laughs> What time, time is zones. it now? Um, <laughs> time, time what time zones. is it now for you, Hannah? Um, I don't have many friends at all. I mean, um, I was, yeah, I was talking about this. I'll get down to the bottom of the chat and then talk a bit. Um, I don't have any real life friends as well anyway. There's around 32 to 35 okay. people in chat. Okay, yeah, so it's not... It's not like it's not big. It's not enough, you would think, to allow... I could understand if you had hundreds of people mm. and just missing... I miss comments sometimes, you know, but there's a difference between missing comments hmm. and an active searching I, of I ignoring. I think what happened with him was that he um, cares so much about new people retention that he ignores kind of the old ones, which is 
sad, and I'm sorry for you, Cinnamon. Hmm. Mm. Very much. Um, I have one really close one, and then just other people that are friends, basically family. My brother's my friend. My sister's my friend. A very close friend. My cats are my friend. Yeah. <laughs> I'm my friend. <laughs> <laughs> be a friend to yourself before you can be a friend to others. Um, um, I'm an introvert. Many people find me weird, so they'd rather avoid me. I do not find people online as friends as well because what um, you see online tends to be different in real life, so I don't feel like I'm finding friend online. Yeah, you will find um, often um, that's why you have to spend, that's why I said it takes a long time because you, um, you see you see a fragment of the person. To be fair though, you see a fragment of the person in real life too. It's mm -hmm. just, it looks like it's more. You go up to someone and they um, have already worked out the way to interact with you that seems normal. It's really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting when you see the mask slip a little bit of different people and you get to know them a bit more of, of it. But yeah, it takes time. Friendship takes time. Um, relationships take time. Yeah, I, I probably prefer the um, word relationship, I guess, because you can be um, multiple different forms of relationship, of di differing. It's not like it's just, okay, I have no feeling towards you whatsoever and don't like you, and now you're a friend. It's not like it's, you know, yeah. yeah. Mm. I mean, it might be for some people, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's why. I mean, like mm. Mickey said, I am, um, it's the same thing with me. I am so much friendly with people that... People generally think of me as nice, but it mistaken them that I basically they they see me as a friend while I'm not. Yeah, mm. I've had that mistake too. Um, um, Hannah said that's only spell. So I'm not good at making friends either. But really, I've only made friends um, with people online through this channel. Yellow and me met. Um, Online. Online. Made yeah. in this channel, actually. Mm, yeah. So, <laughs> I honked at it. <laughs> yeah. Yellow said honk. I said, why was, was that you? Because I thought it was another viewer. It wasn't. Um, and then, um, yeah. yeah. We go from there. <laughs> we go from there. So you can develop good friendships um, from It does require tr trust, though. It requires trust, mm. and it requires a lot of time and a lot of interaction. Um, I mean, it takes us for, like, what, two years before we actually met in person? I yes. think, yeah. Mm. Two years and yeah, very much so. So, yeah. Um, okay, it's 9 central time for me. Okay, so therefore you'd so be off about right. now. Yeah, yeah, so you may miss it So tomorrow, you may miss it. Unless we are particularly late for some reason, <laughs> which mm. is possible. Um, but then um, you will usually come in a bit earlier, yeah. Um, chat friends is fine to me, but friend friend is no, I'm something you'd see people a lot. That's, and that's okay means that once you have someone that you consider friend, it's going to be someone that you absolutely trust. <laughs> yeah, we'll get into my definition of friend. <laughs> so, um, I like to put, uh, um, yeah, wait. Um, I think Dash is probably the closest to a friend from this channel. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. And I would say Dash would feel a similar way. Um, also, um, it's okay too to see someone uh, um, as um a friend and they don't feel that way towards you that is that's okay as well by the way um and th it shouldn't be um a hindrance it shouldn't be a hindrance it means of course that you can't go g'day friend let's da -da 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 -da. but so because hmm. isn't it about the actual feelings you have for the other person and then the feelings they have for you it's a, it's a joint sort of situation here it's not like um yeah um, I like to put it up front. I do not trust people easy. I can um, come out as unfriendly sometimes, perhaps because I've been backstabbed a lot. I lost trust in people and more caution. Yeah, look, I get it. I get to be cautious. Um, very much so. In the world, there's a lot of people. That are, hmm. Some are nice, some are not. Many are not. Many are not. <laughs> so, yeah. I grew up with a lot of many are not. <laughs> yeah, very much. Um, for me personally, I mean... Um, if he didn't, that's fine. But I do consider him as a friend because I trust him. Yeah, and that, that's that's what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I I can't speak for Dash of what Dash's feelings are and stuff. But I but it's kind of I mean it's relevant. Of course, it's relevant. If you if you are if you consider someone a friend and they aren't at that stage yet, I yeah. know it's relevant. But um, it's not as relevant as people. 
seem to think. Hmm. People get very um, caught. Yeah, caught in in the idea of what. Or with labels. Yeah, with labels. What a relationship is. What hmm. is that? But it's like you saying that. See, um, I'm fine. But I do consider him as a friend because I trust him. See, with you, friendship is about trust. Which is good, by the way. <laughs> it's a good thing. Mm. Um, but yeah, look. Um, in real life, I am in real life right now, actually. <laughs> um, in real life, I'm very, very cautious as well about um, who to associate with. Who to associate with? Who I spend my time with? Um, because yeah, my time is important to me, and um, I am very good at reading people, so it's helped a lot in life of avoiding mm. some of the. Um, more worse ones, but even so, um, sometimes you gotta have, you don't have a choice who's around you. This is the problem. Sometimes you have no choice, and you have to uh, from that um, individual group of people. Um, mm. So it's not like you, you can pick the best of the best to be friends with per se. But um, okay, cinnamon. Um, um, the worst backstab I ever experienced is when the person I consider a very close friend um, chooses to side with someone that bully me and instead chooses to defend me. Um, sorry, choose that bully me and instead choosing to defend me and talk my um, years long projects and presenting it as their own. Betrayal in, in friendship is hard because um, I know I'm pretty sure anyway. I know what you're. Um, I'm pretty sure I know what you're talking about, um, Cinnamon. And yeah. That sort of friendship is not the one where they did that, but the friendship you're after is the one I generally seek as well, um, meaning it's more meaningful. If every as some people friends is just this person is kind of nice, we get on sort of sort of friends and that's okay. But yeah, is the case. Um, Notary, bro, is that more of kangaroos? I am. I am the leader of all kangaroo kind. I myself am a kangaroo. Um, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> You're not. No, I am. Um, how are you doing today, Nora? No, 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 Yeah, see, I stuff up names continuously. Um, what brings you to our humble stream? I've almost finished eating. Um, mm. It's very, very yum. Hope yeah, you you missed the cooking and eating part mostly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're almost done. Yeah, now, um, but there's some leftover rice. Yeah, if you want some rice, we got some leftover. Now I'm just sort of I'm um, talking a lot and um, looking at my last spoon, which is mainly rice. Mm. Um. I feel like I'm easy to read because I'm extremely honest. Honesty is a very good thing. Don't get me wrong, I'm not always fully honest in the sense of that I will um, hide, something. hide something in order to protect people, is what I generally do it for, mm. um, is how I do it. Um, so it's not like I, I'm not what would be called brutally honest, but if we're talking about actual relationships, I don't tend to, um, I don't tend to, I, I, I can't do the thing of lying, basically, and being like, yes, we're good friends. Yes, we're the, you know, whatever. I don't like doing it. Um, I talk about friendship on this channel every, like, six months <laughs> or so. It pops up again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, t I don't tend to generally um, throw the term friends around as well. Hence why I said a long time ago when I was still in college, I said that any I don't think I have any friend in my major, but... A lot of people in my major think of me as their friend, which is okay, hmm. as long as they don't push that idea, like, um, yeah, trying to make me feel the way they feel about me, hmm. which general people don't tend to anyway. No, because it's very ill-advised. Hmm. Um, one, it doesn't work. Two, it's wrong, and three, it's ill-advised. Um, Cinnamon, if you're a captain, does that make the pretty lady on your side? <laughs> Funnily I am, enough, I am his lieutenant commander. <laughs> it's interesting you say on the Discord, right? <laughs> on the Discord cinema, I actually have different roles. Like ranking systems. Yeah, different ranking systems. So, captain is me. Mm -hmm. um, lieutenant is basically mods of Discord and um, and um, stream. Stream. Um, and lieutenant commander, yeah, we've we've actually got. Yellow here is Lieutenant Commander, promoted. Mm. Mm. So yeah. we have two Correct. Lieutenant Commanders. Yep. Um, one is me, mm -hmm. one is Alice, which is probably sleeping right Yeah, now. Alice is probably asleep. <laughs> um, so up. yes, mm. you are correct. Mm. <laughs> I am a Lieutenant Commander. Yeah. At least in this Discord. At least in the Discord, and I'm a captain, at least in the Discord as well. 
Um, I consider a friend someone who I would spend time with um, if I could. In some cases, I can't because they live in Australia across the world from me, lol. But I also feel um, comfortable um, talking to them about things I can't with others. Um, yeah, see, this is the thing. It is, um, yeah, I'm, well, too many thoughts in my head, Hannah. Um, but I also feel comfortable talking to them about things I can't with others. Yeah, um, sometimes that is what friendship is. I mean, friendship can be whatever you want it to mean, basically, is what it comes down to. Yeah. Um, I personally go for a more maybe romanticized version of friendship. Yeah, where it being someone you really trust, someone who you can share things with, someone who, um, one, you obviously enjoy spending time with, but um, also who um, enhances your life, I guess. Um, then I have people who are closer than friends who um, I trust hmm. incredibly a lot, plus also um, have proven that, trust I guess but um the unfortunate thing with that is often that trust gets proven in bad circumstances so it's not like it's a prerequisite for um <laughs> having a good friendship with someone it shouldn't be um but it, but I can't deny the fact that going through bad experiences and people stepping up to um behave in a way that I find honorable and um good um doesn't make me feel more warm and um close to them um, and also more um, connected on that sort of level. Um, cinnamon, if I'm um, honest, I would probably um, get banned instantly because I could be sarcastic. Yeah, I know. Look, Cinnamon, I mean, you would have seen on the uh, the channel when uh, we're coming here, my rules are like no swearing, don't be vulgar, be kind or whatnot. Um, because of this, because I do try to um, make the um, stream a wholesome good one for everyone. Now, what that has meant is that some people have really had to curb their sarcasm. Um, other people have had to curb their swearing. There's people in here who swear like in real life, in real life constantly so um, and have managed to do it, um, which is nice. Uh, honestly, for me, it's a very kind thing that people choose to do to be a part of the community, which I very much... Um, Basically, you like. wanted to just be kind in here. Very mm. much so, mm. yeah. We want it to be a, a kind place for everyone who can be um, comfortable in. Yeah. Mm. There's no fear of being ridiculed. There's no fear of being swear that. Yeah. Because mm. mm. not everyone's comfortable with it. I mean, it's like sarcasm. I'm a bit sarcastic in life as well too, but I do curb it on stream, and I don't tend to. I don't tend to do the um, insult humor that much mm. um, because it can be taken um, as a something. As mean. something mean. Um, even if it's not intended. So I tend to not do it um, with people on stream, even with people that I know don't take it that way because then I worry that it will then um, start a thing that that's how we should interact, I guess, mm. um, if that makes sense. Um, I have made no friends in college for the three years I've been there and now I've got two years left. Well, look, friendship can't be forced. Um, that is, that's what it comes down to. I, I really need, um, um, yeah, I really need to um, read chat quicker, don't I? I'll read chat quicker and then I'll ramble on a bit. Um, and now I've got two years left. Um, in my school year, people consider me friend because, um, they can benefit from me, help them with project and all that. Yeah, I know. That's, that's called a, um, parasitic relationship. Um, I don't even remember what, I don't even remember what I am. Um, I'm a very sarcastic um, a person too, Cinnamon. Yeah, um, I mean, Hannah probably, um, Hannah probably um, was more careful here as well, I would say. Um, I know that. Um, I know. That's why I keep my um, sarcastic um, undercover. Yeah, see, and I, and I highly appreciate that. This is the thing. Um, um, it, it's meaningful to me that people do that. Quacky, Mickey can tell what kind of person I am. I'm different here than in Night's Dream. Very much Quacky. See, again, I appreciate it. That's what I mean. Everyone does it. Everyone does it. And I find it incredibly endearing. Um, because it shows one you, um, respect and, um, appreciate me as a, as a person. Um, and also the community in general. And you, um, you, what's the word? Um, support the way I choose to do stuff. And that's highly meaningful, very much so. Mm. But I never want it to be taken as, um, and therefore that's what I think you should be in real life no. constantly all the time, because it isn't at all, um, not at all. 
Um, I have a tendency to be mean in a joking way as well because that's part of my humor, but I try to keep that at bay. It's a sign that I like people, but um, a lot of people don't understand that. And I've started to learn that over the years. Um, a lot of people are. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Here's, here's the thing about the insult humor thing. It really needs to um, come and receive by two people who trust each other very much. Because mm. it could just get... It could just be taken as something mean you I know. tell someone else. Mm. Mm. And I've seen it happen too. Um, I, I actually have, I've said this a lot um, over the time of the years of my channel, but um, I've said it in other places as well, um, that it can, it can create problems. Um, and in other places I have seen it at least a couple of times since voicing it that it can create problems and misunderstandings. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, that's the that's the thing. There's no ill intent. There's never. I mean, there may be ill intent sometimes. In mm. out there, people will say stuff and call it a joke, and I get that. But I mean, the ones that I've witnessed in the last few years are not, in my opinion, ill intent, and yet um, it can create it. Um, Cinnamon says, um, "I feel like I will be regular here. It's very calm. Also, the food looks great. Mm. That's what we're going for, Cinnamon. That's what we're going for. <laughs> yeah, a peaceful nice, cooking. Yeah, peaceful. Um, peaceful and great cooking. food. <laughs> yeah, can you see those cinnamon wise said I do actually. Um, I like chatting. That's my thing. I gain from it. It's meaningful. I, um, I like my. Um, hmm. It sparks my mind." frankly, is what it is. Um, so I'm going to bring back some gaming and stuff, but um, even in the gaming, I've changed it now, where I'm actually going to have um, a few of the mods in there with me so we can actually chat. So that would be like Palm, um, who popped in before, and, and Yellow, and um, Tara and Lucas as well, who you haven't, um, you haven't actually got to meet um, when, when they can. Um, but yeah, just um, it's just to help me make it more of a community stream, I guess. Um, I forgot also if it looked good. When I first got comfortable here, I started um, picking on Mickey constantly, but I've definitely pulled back on that a lot. Yeah, I, did we talk about it? I think we did. We would have talked about it on stream, surely, because I've had this conversation before a couple of times, so I just can't remember entirely things um, about it. Uh, maybe not specifically um, you, but we probably talked about the, um, picking, on each the picking on each other thing of why I don't do it. Um, cause it's teasing. That's actually what it is. It's, um, um, and I have to control uh, myself on it as well. Um, I generally, this is what I do, by the way. Um, I, um, I put my teasing into two categories. The one that is really teasing about something, um, that, how can I say this is, Okay, I've got a good example. This is a good example. There's two types of teasing um, for the same scenario. Say I'm playing a game and I'm not very good at it. Shocker. Um, but say that I am, um, and someone comes in and says, you suck. That's not gentle teasing. That's called being a git. Okay, <laughs> that's the thing. Yet, I'm quite certain there have been um, many um, examples where you would go, um... Um, Mickey is just great at dying. What? Mickey is yeah. just great at dying. Mickey is great at dying in the game. Seriously, he has a true gift for it. I think, um, you know, I think um, he's found his true calling in life. Okay? That's teasing. It's the same thing, but it, it's teasing. Um, one goes to the more being mean path and the other goes to that. But yeah, I don't know if that it remotely was explanation, but yeah. Um, when would the next stream um, be, um, you say, tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow, um, how many hours before now? Two and a half, around two and a half hours before now. Yeah, two and a half hours before um, now will be the next um, mm. the next stream, um, Cinnamon, if you can make it. Um, and then um, the day after it, um, same time um, as well, um, if you can't make it. Um, I feel like I'm being lectured, yep. <laughs> as I said, Quacky, I used to just talk non-stop. Mm. But I talk about things in two people and with people as opposed to, um, I like choosing my words. I like them having meaning behind them. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I might say that to someone who um, I'm very close to and they understand my humor, but I wouldn't say that to you because that could definitely be taken bad. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, 
It's okay, Quacky. <laughs> I try tomorrow. Should be a free time for me. Yeah, that that That'll would be. Um, it would be lovely cinnamon. to have you back, Cinnamon. Yeah. And I know Cinnamon. Um, since you said you're sarcastic, I know there will probably be a um a bit of a learning. Well, not a learning, just a bit of a time to get used to not using sarcasm as a um hmm. form of communication. But that's okay. It's it's fine. Um. No worries, I like being lectured. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do tend to do it. I did a lot of them over the years, actually. Um, yeah, so can you see why I said I do talk a lot on stream, um, <laughs> Cinnamon? Um, it gets easier with t um, time, um, trust me. Yeah, very much. You adapt to it, and that's good. And it's the attempt to adapt, or it's the trying to adapt that I actually like. It's not coming in and just... Pretending something. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much so. Okay, we're done. Yeah, yeah. pretty much that. Mm. I've missed being able to sit. Um, talking is fine. Um, I've missed being able to actually sit for one of um, the streams. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's nice, Hannah. I know your live stream very um, <laughs> crazy of late, actually. You seem to um, be sick or exhausted. Um, with a lot of it, so it's nice. It's nice to be able to do that. Um, I do quite enjoy streamers that talk to their chat um, rather than just ignore them. Yeah, very much so. Um, very much so. Maddie, how are we going? Hi, Mickey. Hi, Hi Yellow. Love you guys. Um, you as well, um, Maddie. How is you today? We're almost done, Maddie. We've we've eaten our food. We made some um, curry. Mhm. Mm made some lovely curry. Um, like it was actually really good. I was very mm -hmm. impressed with it. Um, but I will just say hi to you and before we will, um, head off into the night as it were. <laughs> I don't have anyone to, um, raid. No one to raid because, because it's, Sunday. it's a Sunday. <laughs> not, not for us. Okay. I want that clear. It is not Sunday for us. Uh, but for everyone, yeah, there's no one there. Um, but that is okay. Um. Sorry, I think I did. Um, do, 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 uh, if you guys crack mad, um, I probably won't be around for tomorrow's stream, so I will tell um, Stephen to clock in for me. So if you see me lurking, I just found me points. <laughs> yeah, cracky, I really hope. Um, mm, thank yeah. you for being here, even if you were in the hospital. <laughs> yeah, I know you say you've got nothing better to do or whatever, but there's many things that one can choose to spend their time in, and the fact that you choose to spend any of it um, here is. Um, Highly appreciated. Highly appreciated. Very much so, um, Quacky. So I hope you um, you feel a bit better in a few days. Um, we will see um, we we'll see see Steve O tomorrow. Mm. Um, and yeah, I um, yeah hope hope it goes well. Um, we are doing okay. Fraser will be three months old next week, but he is mm. so cute. Um, that is crazy. Three months old. That you is feel ridiculous. better. Ridiculous. Um, yeah, that's good, Maddie. I'm glad. Um, bye everyone until next time. Um, please feel better. Quacky with a sip sip. Okay. Mm. Well, Thank good. you everyone yeah. for joining. Mm. Thank you for everyone who says the food looked great. Um, it tasted great. My first time doing it as well. Mm. Yeah. And hope to see you tomorrow. If not, then the next day when we're going to be cooking another Indian cuisine. Yep. Two days time we'll be in, um, Indian scene and tomorrow we'll be coming back for a bit of a chat trying some crazy berries that make sour stuff sweet mm. um, and trying to fix up um, trying to fix up again um, uh, what have I got um, quack quack take care everyone it's nice to see your lovely faces you as well um, Maddie and um, everyone here thank you Cinnamon for coming along um, I yeah I hope we see you next time or if not next time the um, time after it's been a wonderful chat um, mm. so thank you very much thank you everyone um, who came thank you for those who lurked Thank you for the people, the new people who followed, and thank you for, yeah, everyone for um, being a part of it all. So, I'll leave you with the outro. Until next time, um, yeah. Bye. Bye.